who am I today describe been forever but the name changes with the times I come from a place where space is home I go into realms where your face is gone a change gon' come as a team hypnotized deep in a sleep party and slumber 11 life path number a life of death that's rebirth recall realities to reemerge so purge I'll lend you frequency like long words Before I teach, I spit a poem first Step on stage, set the stage Kyle walking, set ablaze Divine fire, the body is divine Attire, song from words Sound frequency, awakening dreams Don't pinch me every day I wake up It's a home birth Start from zero to become the heroes Cycles of time causes expansion of mind Potential is exponential Gain XP what your power made of I've had to face self face to fate A double fate What will I make of the present? I'm just trying to pet heaven Twice great Two arms up It's nothing to wave It's nothing to wave God separate the waters from the waters Genesis 1 and 6 See that source is thousands of years prior to a Bible even existing It's called the pet word for heaven Watchers of noon, primordial, pre-ordered Bringing order in, in order It's law the scales will represent A double gift, re-present, Ray is present Ra, amen to the God inside The crown will glow as consciousness grows So what assignment are you on? I do my best to do my best Lead with the left heart out my chest By step out of the flesh Oh my crown is done that mess Corona shining I do my best to do my best Lead with the left heart out my chest By step out of the flesh Oh my crown is done that mess Corona shining Serpent mind winding in alignment Straight from Orion The origins Digging to the root, Kim original, the oracle speaking, your aura is gleaming, the sons of God, Amen, Ra, who can't afford a reason, to fall below your own means, meaning, reaching beyond the firmament, ceiling, I see linguistics tricking us deep into sleeping, the way we live inception, I must be dreaming, doubles, double L, square root, mirrors, reverse the image, my grip is slipping, almost forgot the point of the mission, statements, Point out all the contradictions, blatant truth lives where my eye is foundation. Yeah, co-founded a nation, dictionary, study, spells can be scary. Etymology, this here is completion. Cycle circles, dualism wisdom. I pedal flowers. Two eyes are watching to see through the double realm I'm healing. Never out of what's within him. Infinite reasons, just like my brother Arcad, always remain calm against demons. Death culture, to be alive here, it's a lie here They crossed us into thinking that death isn't living The lies are falling through my palms, arm wide holes in my hand The Pope's in command, I demand the throne back Ancient teachings, I'm a throwback Picture that, see this moment here is cold that So, so black, I see through lies Why they hold that, ocean motions I'm flowing through noon in the boats of consciousness My tongue is rowing Rolling, planting seeds, sowing, knee of speaking, untangle quantum DNA, spitting frequencies. I hear Christians scream, hallelujah, and this ain't that the name of God is God. I must bring the order back, the scales are tipping. In the court of our law, moon shines, who is y'all? This here is Patah, bulldozing, the one chosen, focus. When the light hits you, just open like lotus. Melt your mind when in mind, time is frozen. Blow minds, my mind is golden. Coat me in gold, I've got a gold coat round me like I'm to uncommon. Like his when you spell my name, put three lines in. Scribe, presenting the law's findings. Who's he? I ain't me, an echo of Tahuti. Yes, I do my best to do my best. Mm. Lead with the left heart out my chest. By step out of the flesh. Oh, my crown is done that mess. Corona shining. We do our best to do our best.
Peace and love. Peace and love. Hotep Ma'at. Can y'all brothers hear me? Hotep Ma'at. Yes. Hotep, Hotep. Sound good. Hotep. Peace and love. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Teachings of Ma'at Study Guide Sundays. Today's topic is the origin of meditation, Ma'at Meditations. Before I introduce our panel, we'd like to begin as we do every week with our beautiful affirmation. On the count of three, one, two, three. Unki in my art, un in s, nin tet or set in my art, men have a pet in my art, her in hue cuey, her e coot. I live for my art, I exist within her, I do not speak in the face of my art, every day I advance towards my art. My being is surrounded in darkness. I come forth as conscious light. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to our Study God Sundays. I am the mighty, mighty Arcad Infinite. I am the Tachat of the organization. I am a student of the Master Teacher, the great Tahuti Amenhotep Ra. I'm the host of this Study God, Teachings of My Art, True Hearted Follower Based on Ancestral Artifacts, the Love of My People Unconditionally, Dedicated to Kemet and learning the metal nada. Next, we have the general Ahati Ma'at. Ahati Ma'at was taught under the great Tahuti Amenhotep Ra. He has been a serious student and teacher of Kemetic culture and history for several years. He has written multiple books, including textbooks called The Journey of Your Soul series, essays, articles, and furthermore, he hosts in person and online classes weekly podcast and periodically creates documentaries. He also has experience in public speaking and academic debating, and he is responsible for the creation of this weekly study guide. Next, we have the presenter, the mighty scribe. Scribe is a poet, writer, spoken word artist, audio producer, engineer, healer, spiritual advisor, consultant, and business creator. He is a master student of the Natiru, a true hearted, a true follower and protector of Ma'at, a scribe of Tehuti and Ma'at, he studies under the master teacher, Saba Tehuti Amenhotep Ra. For the scribe, quality always outweighs quantity. He enjoys observing reality and incorporating these observations into his writing and creations to assist in awakening dormant DNA and reversing of negative hypnosis. Welcome to our show tonight. We have a very, very special show lined up for you all. Welcome, everybody. Peace and love. Hotel, my aunt, everyone, peace and love. Uh, of course, Hotel to the to the great brothers on the panel. Uh, Hotel, my to you, Arcad, and to you, my aunt. Hey, hey, so, hey, hey, sorry, scribe. Arcad, can you hear him? Cause I can't. I can barely hear him. You're a little low, scribe. I don't know if the music was loud or you just a tad bit low. Okay, hold on. Just there you go. There you go. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. that's perfect. I, I can barely hear you. It's like All right, so, so you can hear me now. That sounds perfect, brother. Thank okay, you. perfect. All HD right, right there. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah, so peace and love to all the great brothers and sisters. Uh, viewing this live show and those of you who uh, participate in the chat all right let's see let's give let's give some shout outs let's um give a shout out to the great sister shannon southard peace and love to you uh sending you love and energy shannon peace and love to you uh minku ara the great brother minku ara mary maat the active member uh who's doing a lot of work uh, behind the scenes for the TOM and uh, gathering up all what's necessary for us to uh, uh, meet in person. All right, so make sure you give this great brother your uh, your adoration. He's putting in a lot of work. Uh, shout out to the God Spencer. Peace and hotep to you, my good brother. Yes, love to see, love to see it. Uh, Ka of Antu, Anat. Peace to you, good sister. And of course, right along with you, Anu, uh, peace and love uh, to you, good brother. Let's see, uh, Rebel Minded, we got Sadiq in the building. 
Peace and blessings to you, my brother. Let me see, Master K, Hotep Hop. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Peace and love to you, good brother. All right, and then we have Angela Gates, who just stepped in the building. Peace and love to you. All right, um, so uh, before we get started, um, Ahati Ma'ad, if you would, um, if you have some things that you would like to say or a couple, few things I need to do before I um, begin. And uh, so if you could uh, just give a, give a few words and uh, I will be back very, very shortly. Hotep, everybody. Hotep. Um, peace. Peace. <laughs> or Kaz, a traveling man. Um, let's do some, since we have some time, I didn't think we were going to have this time. Let's do some hailing. Get the vibe going. And if we still have a little bit more time, I'll uh, very, 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 very quickly break down the newsletter because there's new additions to it. For all those who haven't gone over to our website yet, go over there, go to the home page, scroll all the way down. You'll see a slot where you can type in your email. You hit the red button there and uh, you'll get free access to a weekly beautiful newsletter. But first, we're going to start off with some hailing because the great Saba is going to be coming on soon. And uh, it's good to get the vibe going. It's good to get the vibe going. See I love that, uh, that intro. Uh, Scribe added that good music. Which I yeah, I like, about I like that. that. That'll probably be a weekly thing because uh, I was wondering why he wasn't doing that. Yes. Love it. Okay, so on your screen, here's the affirmation you can find on the website. I'm going to read the blue part and then I'm going to read the red. So it says, E Neb Ma'at, Per M Ma'ati. El Ma'at is song. everything. Oh, you can't see it? It's not no. Okay, hold on. Let me see what the problem is. Oh, it shut off my sharing. It shut off the sharing. Let me see. Okay, Arcad, can you see that? Yes, we can see you now, brother. Can you see the affirmation? There we go. There we go. Okay, let's. Let's do it. So it's e ne ma'at per em ma'ati. Hail ma'at is everything. We come forth from her. Henu saba tuhuti amen hotep ra. Hail saba tuhuti. Henu kemet. Hail kemet. Makaru, makaru, makaru. Victory, victory, victory. That is our victory voice. And again, uh, for all, all of you that are new or listening in the future, we like to do hailing because it's virtually non-existent in what is the so-called black community today. So if we were encouraging each other more, we would see uh, greater results happening collectively together. Uh, real quickly, I'm going to show the newsletter. I'm going to go over to the newsletter and I am going to show you what we have been up to. Arcad, can you see the screen? Yes, it's showing, brother. Okay, perfect. So again, when you go to uh, the website and you put in your email, you'll get a free new weekly newsletter. It's basically the, the, the class after the class. So you're going to get a, a great online presentation tonight and then the key points. Uh, is going to be summarized in this newsletter here. So this is the, the first page. We always, um, it says, Teachings of Ma'at, the movement begins with you. Book study breakdown and news. We always give the issue number and the date. This is for your records. If you got to pull out some information that you can't remember where exactly it was, uh, you can find it easily because we organize it for you. We always greet you here. And we have a mission statement here. The mission statement for the teachings of Ma'at is to bring back home to the mindset of Ma'at as many sisters, brothers, and their children as possible. Free melanated people from the Tamahu Caucasian matrix. That is our mission. So here's the news. The news is the news section is where you'll find the summary of uh 
last week's and the present presentation. And it's always condensed in two small paragraphs. So if you're like me and you're busy and you're on the go, you could quickly pull out your mobile phone and uh, scroll down in the newsletter and it'll come right up and it's real easy to read on the go. Okay. So last week, I'm just going to read the first paragraph. It says, Speaker Ahati was asked about utterances to combat the Seba Wufiens. Great class. If you missed the class, I suggest you go over to the website and uh, look for it over there. Uh, the keyword will be Seba Wufiens. It's a great question that was asked. So in order to fight something, you first need to gather intelligence about it. Meduneta word Seba or Saba means a portal from the subatomic to the earthly realm. However, it is also a doorway from ignorance to intelligence. Let's go deeper. So if you want to learn more, I suggest you go over there and sign up for our free newsletter. Now, what I love about our graphics team is that uh, they're always giving you a menu netter from the presentation. So here they're showing a, a menu netter from the Perm Haru dealing with the Seba'u in uh, Isfet, or um, what's called uh, the devil today. So it's great, you're constantly learning. Um, you can screenshot that. Uh, there's constantly encouragement being given. How they built this was like an Aku. An Aku is one of the names for what's being called a pyramid today. And if you notice in the comments here, it's stacked up. I like this. It's, it's fractaling into the Aku or the Ben Ben that's on top here. So uh, we're always giving knowledge and encouragement in all of our newsletters. And of course, the female energy is always present with Nut. So there's some new additions for, uh, for weekly subscribers. So I'm going to get to that. We have a Discord community. This is open to everybody. Uh, members are already joining, uh, but this is open to everybody. So I suggest if if you were like me in the beginning, uh, I was all alone. At least I felt I was all alone. And uh, I didn't have any other true seekers on my level to talk to other than Saba. So this is great. I wish I had this if I was brand new. Uh, and they're over there, the sisters over there, the brothers over there, they're chopping it up. Um, uh, the other day, I believe they were sh they were asking who who's reading what literature from ancient Egypt. It was beautiful. So you don't have to be a member if you just want to just hang out. You want to offer uh, information. You want to chop it up with sisters and brothers. It's a great community. So join our Discord community, and um, I believe if your problems getting over there, you can go to the website and somebody will help you. Okay, so this is new. It says, we are all growing within Ma'at. We now have a platform for all followers of Ma'at to continue the conversation outside of online classes. So we don't want to be stuck in virtual la-la land here on YouTube. We, we're not, this is not our goal. Our goal is to have physical meetups eventually. And a segue into that or a bridge to that is this Discord chat because it's more personable than just hanging out in a YouTube chat. Here you will have access to leadership of teachings of Ma'at and all members. We will also be hosting community meetings for everyone to express ideas for the growth of teaching of Ma'at. So we're constantly looking for members. We're looking for writers, editors, digital designers, social media content creators, organizers for physical meetups. Everybody has a skill. It's not even if you, everybody has a skill. We just, if you need help finding it, that's what we're here for. I didn't think I had skills uh, before I came to this knowledge and I have many. And so does the brothers on the panel and so does the silent sisters in the chat. So we suggest that uh, if you wanna be a part of something great, you wanna give back to not only us, but to Saba Tahuti and keep that energy going, come and join us. You can contact us at leadership at teachingsama.org. It's leadership at teachingsofma'at.org. Okay, this is a, a, a new addition also. So, again, everybody has a creative ability. And those of you that know, those of you that do have, like I know some of you out there that do actually are very, 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 very creative. So this pertains to you 
especially. So it could be music, it could be art, it could be physical and digital, because I know the art's turning into AI now. Storytelling, dancing, acting, pottery, playing instruments, comedy, all things creative, all things creative. If you can create, we can showcase. Only for a free will donation of at least $20. And teaching of mob members will only pay $10 for access. So the reason why um, we're charging is because we have goals and objectives too. And if we have time this week, we'll go over it. If you, if you have questions, you can always contact us. But uh, we're planning an annual meetup. This is going to cost money for everybody. Um, we're also doing, uh, we also have things on the business side, just people that want to mail things out. And we want to have a PO box to do that. So all, everything will be detailed. If you need to see that, you need to see where the money's going. I totally understand because there's people out here that are taking people's money and have nothing to show for it. So we're, we're happy to do that. Everything's transparent here. So again, if you have a talent, if you're making, I see guys at the beach, they're still passing out uh, CDs, hustling CDs. If you're doing anything that deals with creativity, um, we'll give you a segment on the show. And uh, to get on, it's $20 per show. Teachers Mop members will only pay $10 for access. You blow up and become big and all that, that money's yours. We don't want a percentage of it. Uh, we're also doing business promotion. People in the beginning reached out to us for business promotion. We can also give you a one minute segment within our show to advertise your business. So all acts and business advertisements is subject for approval. Uh, all you gotta do is me message us at teachingsofmod.org. Teachingsofmod.org. We wanna see you blow up and grow like us. So things to consider before skipping this study. What are the weekly studies about? They are based off the teachings of Tehuti and our Nile Valley and our great ancestors of the Nile Valley. A way to continue our community of truth seekers with the leadership of the teachings of Ma'at. You are now witnessing his wisdom in action. Similar to all movements, information without good vibration manifests nothing. Scribes can go over the beautiful merch that we have over at teachersma.org. After this presentation, um, free well donations, you wanna donate, just feel like giving today. Um, here's the cash app, here is the PayPal. We also do crypto, we also do crypto. We're probably the only, con we're probably the only people that you know, um, we don't consider ourselves a conscious community, but that you know in a conscious community that has a crypto wallet. We're very transparent. So unlike a lot of other movements, you can have direct access to the leader of the movement, which is Saba Tehuti from mysticaltelevision at gmail.com. It's mysticaltelevision at gmail.com. Uh, you can have direct access to him. And then lastly, I would like to give shout outs to the members and our supporters because without these groups of people, there is no show, there is no Saba, there is no us. So first, to shout out Diki Asani Oba Allah, that's Rebel Minded. Uh, give him a what's up. Uh, give him uh, whatever you do to shout him out. Angie Martinez, she's doing a lot of hard. I'm getting a lot of feedback in the background. I don't know if somebody's mic. Can you mute your mic? Angie Martinez is doing a great job. She's new. She came on. She's hustling. She's getting things done. She's a great worker. Bella, I don't know what to call you because your name keeps changing. Uh, I'll talk to uh, Sister Antu about that later. I, I don't know what to call you, so I'm just gonna call you Bella. Cause I see your name, it looks like your name changed again, so I don't know. But Bella, doing a great job, appreciate you. Menku Ara, Mary Ma'at, the brother is very creative. This brother has a great vision. He's probably gonna be taking over the enlightenment and um, cultural awareness department of the teachings of Ma'at movement and i'm very excited for him the non-active members are new car and to sandra carey and big vapes to our supporters 
We have the great Nito Campbell, Mr. Consistency. Shout out to you. Artist Min Hawkins, peace to you. True, Se True Seeker 22, peace. E Manifesto, what's up, brother? Shannon Southard, appreciate you. You get leisure, what's up, brother? Teddy Patty, don't know if you're male or female, but I hope everything is good. Mark Anthony, Safishi CIA, um, if I'm butchering your name, I apologize, but peace to you. Anthony Drain, Eric Gadillo, Gadello, Gadillo, Heka Kepara, peace, brother. Sarah Broomfield, peace to you. Angela Gates, what's up, sister? And Bev, as always, peace and love. I don't know where the brother is. He'll be right back. He's, oh, he's uh, ready. He's ready. He's ready. Yeah. He's ready. He's ready. All right. Peace All and right. love. Otep, hope y'all ready for a wonderful, wonderful show tonight. My good brother Scribe is going to put on an excellent presentation as always. Yes, sir. Hotel, everyone. And uh, of course, before we uh, do the presentation, I, uh, I've been making it a theme to produce some tones for y'all uh, because they can be very helpful. So I'm going to continue that theme and we're going to we're going to we're going to bring some bars. Great brother Arcad. <laughs> OK. All right. So, of course, we give y'all a live performance and, uh, you know, we'll, I'll be bringing the, the actual music for you all to download and uh, listen to it in, in uh, high definition quality. But I always like to uh, give an actual performance of the song versus just playing it because it brings a, a different energy to it. It brings a different energy to it. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. All right. So, so Arcad is, is rapping? No, you know, uh, Arcad loves the bars. I would love to hear Arcad. Oh, <laughs> I, I was like, what's going Am I supposed to be prepared for a freestyle? <laughs> what's going yeah. on? You're surprising <laughs> me, brother. <laughs> Okay, yes, yeah, this is going to be great. All right. Hold on, let me see. All right, let's 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 go. Let's go. Scribe. Close my eyes then I woke up back in my bed. Y'all ready for this or what? I don't know if they really want to hear this. I don't know. Let's see. Put some fire flames in the chat. If you want to hear some tones, I need to know. Let me see. Let me. Do y'all really want to hear this? Get those fists up. Get those fists up. Give them some <laughs> flames. What you think, brother? Arcad? You think they want to hear it? They ain't ready. <laughs> <laughs> they not ready. All right. Let's get it. Shed. Close my eyes, then I woke up back in my bed. I could see my room as clear as looking through a lens. See, I thought I was awake, so then I tried to move. But my body shocked me, love was plugged in a socket. I started panicking and scrambling within my mental. I thought I died, and now my body, I'm forever locked in. I was screaming, Someone help me, help me, help me, please. But there wasn't any sound making it through my teeth. I could see movement and motion, shadows gather around me. How could I close my eyes? My eyes already closed. Eating alkaline at this time, fasting reads so shocking. I was stuck in a paralysis. Fred had me froze. Mm. It's time to shed. It's time to shed. I heard a voice in the back of my head. Rebirth. It's time to shed. Time to shed. It's time to shed. I heard a voice in the back of my head Rebirth, it's time to shed I finally started waking up and coming back I was in the opposite of states of fact 
That's relaxed, I grabbed my phone and started to do research Knowledge of what happened, I was in a lack Insidious, the movie came direct to mind Every time I seen this, it was connected to what's not divine Demons crawling forcefully, holding the body down Ain't no point in trying to scream, you will not make a sound Deep within, I made that a reality The all is mine, I saw it and so shall it be I start replacing fear with knowing universe is mental Talking to my subconscious to wake me up in dreams Then one day my spirit gods came in so essential Daylight's astral playing loud in my dream helped to set me free I'm back in the paralysis on the couch But this time I was calm ready to exit out mm. It's time to shed It's time to shed I heard a voice in the back of my head Rebirth it's time to shed It's time to shed It's time to shed I heard a voice in the back of my head Rebirth, it's time to shed mm. In front of me See a rope and pull it, separate and then release Now I'm out, I see my house is gleaming, I accept it Looking in the mirror, staring at my car's reflection I was so ecstatic, flying in every direction This was months of subconscious reprogramming, redirection Place my thoughts in my body, yeah, that's what I did I was reborn from that day so I could start to live mm. It's time to shed It's time to shed I heard a voice in the back of my head Rebirth, it's time to shed Bodies of light birth from noon Travel under the moonlight Nothing is truly hidden Our moon says don't be foolish See the flesh is just a temporary cover Like clothes, remove it I thought we knew this Conscious travels through the double realm Exist many beings I see most are unconscious Sleep walking around like zombies We must rest That's rise and wake up Don't be the walking dead Rez also means Tongue, speak it into existence. Add an I, that's resi, which means to dream. Upesh, light shed, doubles, life and death, it's all connected. Serpent energy is used to wake up when it's time to rest. Leave the body in bed, it's time to shed. Fire, 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 fire. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hey, now those of you that know that come to the Metal Netter Mondays, then you will know about the shed. Run that back. Come on, Sky, run it back one more time, please. I love the bars. Please, yo. Hey, listen. It's the bars and the consciousness that gets me hyped, guys. I appreciate the knowledge and I appreciate the wisdom of our ancestors. Scribe, I appreciate you, brother, for that. Please, can you run that back one more time for us, for the people? One, one more time. Hey, hold on. Those of you in the chat, y'all want them to run it back one time? Y'all want them to run it back? Put a one in the chat if y'all want them to run it back one time. See them ones in there. Hey, y'all see what we doing here, too. We building this thing here brick by brick. Y'all see how we doing this. Teachingsofmyart.org. Like, subscribe, and comment. Scribe, scribe you're going to have to do it, brother. I, I see already about four or five ones. I see it, my brother. We love it. Ahati, what you think, brother? What you think? It's fire. fire I love fire. it. I love it. Yes, sir. Scribe, they, it's, you got about a hundred ones in there, bro. All right. All right. Guess we'll do an encore. <laughs> that shed. You know, One more time, guys. Run it back. Pay attention. It only makes sense because uh, everything is done in doubles. That's the 11, life and death. Let's go. Scribe. Shed. Shed. Close my eyes, then I woke up back in my bed I could see my room as clear as looking through a lens See, I thought I was awake, so then I tried to move 
But my body shocked me like I was plugged in a socket I started panicking and scrambling within my mental I thought I died and now my body I'm forever locked in I was screaming help me help me someone help me please But there wasn't any sound making it through my teeth I could see movement and motion shadows gather around me How could I close my eyes my eyes already closed Eating alkaline at this time fast and so shocking I was stuck in a paralysis fear had me froze it's time to shed. It's time to shed. I heard a voice in the back of my head. Rebirth. It's time to shed. It's time to shed. It's time to shed. I heard a voice in the back of my head. Rebirth. It's time to shed. I finally started waking up and coming back. I was in the opposite of state's effect. That's relaxed, I grabbed my phone and started to do research Knowledge of what happened, I was in a lack Insidious, the movie came direct to mind Every time I've seen this, it was connected to what's not divine Demons crawling forcefully, holding the body down Ain't no point in trying to scream, you will not make a sound Deep within, I made that a reality The all is mine, I saw it and so shall it be I start replacing fear with knowing universe is mental Talking to my subconscious to wake me up in dreams Then one day my spirit guides came in so essential Daylight's astral playing loud in my dream helped to set me free I'm back in paralysis laying on my couch But this time I was ready to exit out Calm, it's time to shed It's time to shed I heard a voice in the back of my head Rebirth, it's time to shed it's time to shed It's time to shed I heard a voice in the back of my head Rebirth It's time to shed From what I read I need to move my arms in front of me See a rope and pull it separate and then release Now I'm out I see my house is gleaming I accept it Looking in the mirror staring at my cons reflection I was so ecstatic flying in every direction This was months of subconscious reprogramming Redirection Place my thoughts in my body, wake up, that's what I did I was reborn from that day so I could start to live It's time to shed It's time to shed I heard a voice in the back of my head Rebirth, it's time to shed Bodies of light birthed from noon Travel under the moonlight Nothing is truly hidden Our moon says, don't be foolish See the flesh is just a temporary cover like clothes Remove it, I thought we knew this Conscious travels through the double realm exist many beings I see most are unconscious Sleepwalking around like zombies We must res That's rise and wake up Don't be the walking dead Res also means tongue Speak it into existence Add an I That's resi which means to dream Upesh Light Shed Doubles Life and death It's all connected Serpent energy is used to wake up when it's time to rest Leave the body in bed It's time to shed I'm a fan, brother. To uh, to, uh, I am a fan, brother. I love it. Absolutely. May y'all show some love to that good brother, Scribe. Put that fire in the chat. Show some love. <clears throat> um, Scribe has sent me some some music earlier, man. I'm 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 just a super fan, brother. I remember. I remember watching the mother shows and uh, <laughs> watching how it used to go down. And uh, man, I just, I appreciated it then. And now to sit here and be a part of it and uh, just to sit here and be with uh, you great brothers and to just be growing and learning is fantastic. It's magical, man. It's, 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 it is absolutely magical because I remember sitting uh, and watching Saba spit like yo i was like oh snap i'm a hip-hop fan guys i am a like a real fan of lyrics and bars and and when i heard saba rap oh man i was like in awe like wow this is this is great and then um it just let me know that you know 
um, just how, how talented our ancestors were and, and just, you know, um, how important the way we speak is. Because that was one of the things that I noticed about Saba was how he spoke. And that was one of the things that made me want to speak better. You know, just hearing him, I'm like, wow, that's 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 the example, right? That's right there. That's how you're supposed to speak. So I um, started making some adjustments. This is why sometimes I'll be, um, you know, not knowing what to say or tongue twisting, as they say, because I have an example of excellence. And um, those of you that recognize, recognize. And I'm going to just tell you guys, I'm going to give you all a little a little secret um, just to hip you all to those of you that have not been participating in the Metal Netta Monday classes. You missing out because he just bro he just broke down pretty much the whole lesson. And I just I love that. That's why I'm so hyped because I'm like, wow, how he's able to articulate what we learned. And we just learned it. I don't know if he just learned it, but I just did in the class. So teachersofmyart.org. I'm going to let this brother get back to his presentation. Um, shout out to everybody. Show him some love. All right. Peace. Hotep. Hotep. How do I sound? Brother, oh, I, I oh you sound, sound great, brother. Yes. Peace for that, brother. All right. Yes, sir. Peace and love to all the great people sending me that great energy. Peace and love. You're the ones who inspired me to uh to do this and to bring it at this level so without y'all i mean it, it, there wouldn't be a scribe so peace and love to all of you so now we're going to get into the uh the presentation here and uh the title of the presentation is the origin of meditation and my meditations All right, so let me uh, share my screen here. All right, so of course, I always love to start with etymology. Uh, so because uh, before we can go into breaking down what something is we have to define it we have to define it in its original meaning so we actually start from the root versus uh, just a, a thought process or an interpretation of what something is so a lot of times when you uh when you see meditation you think of uh what sitting down and getting into a certain position and closing closing uh your eyes and i've heard uh, many people tell me oh, i can't uh, i can't really meditate because i can't stop thinking I can't stop thinking. I've, I, I, so many people have told me they can't meditate because they can't stop thinking. And so I'm going to break that spell during this class here. So as we can see, when we go into the etymology of meditation, it comes from the pi root to take appropriate measures. All right, so you see here in circa 1200, contemplation, private devo devotions, and prayer. From French, meditation, thought, reflection, and study. So study is a form of meditation. Reflection is meditation. Thinking, to think over. All right, meditation, reflect and consider from pi root med to take appropriate measures so to measure appropriately meaning meditative discourse on a subject early 14th century meaning act stronger plan devise practice rehearse and study so here we have med the pi root take appropriate measures which creates all these words here right medicate medication uh, medicine Medusa, modify, modern, moderate, the middle. So here we have here, median means to rule, a ruler. Uh, because, you know, drive you cut out, brother. Your, your, the sound went out.
No, no sound, brother. You went out right before ruler. Mic check. Peace, peace. What's up? I can hear you. You cut out right before ruler. You okay, said the ruler. Okay. Somehow I got muted. All right. So, yes, as we see ruler, uh, which makes sense because it says to take appropriate measures. All right. And, and it also has we have Madiri, which means to heal, to give medical medical attention to cure. So we take all this into consideration when we're thinking about meditation. All right. So the word meditate means to think, to rule, to heal and to measure appropriately. All right. So whenever we uh, we think about meditation, uh, what culture always comes up? You know, it's always Buddhism, right? It's always the Buddhism culture. When every and when every time we look up meditation, you'll see a Buddhist sitting there, uh, which is fine. But here I'm here to show you where that originates from. All right, and I gave you a good idea in the screenshot of the of the, uh, the thumbnail for the video. All right, so. Here we have an image of a of a Buddha because there's many Buddhas. It's not just one. So this is the oldest Buddha statue in archaeology. This is the oldest one. And here's the museum number if you want to look this up yourselves. 18951026.1 from the 2nd century and 3rd century CE. So um, this is just about 2000 years old all right so we're talking about the 200s so this is the oldest buddha statue in archaeology as we see it dates to the second and third century 2800 years after we already see it in the comedic artifacts this pose originates with the scribes of comet okay so here we go and as you can see right here you can see that this uh this this uh scribe here well this person in particular actually isn't a scribe but he's in a position in the pose of the scribes all right and this is a seated statue of sebek m inu this is a non-royal individual uh, and he was a steward all right so this is a steward and as you see him sitting in the most the common meditation position all right with his hand flat here and one of his hands in the middle of his chest which med is the middle so this is from the 12th dynasty uh 1929 to 1877 bce all right and here's the uh, museum that it's in all right so as we can see so this is uh so the oldest buddhist statue that we have is 200 ce so this is 2000 years prior to that statue all right so this statue here which isn't even the oldest is 2000 years prior to this one but when we look up meditation it always takes you to this here all right so i'm gonna take you further and i'm gonna take you to the origin which meditation means to think and there were no greater thinkers than the ancient Kometians. All right, so here we're going to go into the Egyptian Book of the Dead, uh, which this is the book. Uh, the great brother Arkad was talking about Medunetra Monday. This is the book that we go into uh, to really learn and dissect what the Medunetra, uh, what these symbols mean, what these glyphs mean. All right, and here's the Egyptian Book of the Dead. And this, this book has the actual images of the papyruses. All right, so both of these are very good because this has the transliteration of the Medu in the English, and this one has the images of the actual papyruses for you. All right, so here in page 153 of the Per M Haru, we have the transformation into a hawk of gold, making a transformation, a Keperu M Bach, into a hawk of gold, noob. Okay. So let's start here. Pa with the wing there. May I fly? May I alight? Like a hawk of cubits, the meh seven 
at his back. So here's the seven, Sekef, which is what I put in that second verse when I said, um, I started waking up and coming back. I was in the opposite of state's effect. So here is seven, which seven also means to relax. All right. So seven at his back, his two wings being of mother emerald of the south. All right. So the pest, his back, which we see here, which is the spine. And this this uh, right here is a is a determinant for uh, flesh. So we have the pest. So seven at his back. The mehi. So here we have the meh. The cubit, all right, seven hand breaths or 28 finger breaths, about 20, 20 inches. So from the bottom of your elbow to the top of your finger is about one cubit. And that's how they, they would um, do a lot of measuring in ancient Kemet. That'd be one cubit. So seven cubits at his back. So imagine a wing 20 inches, seven times. Right, 140 inches. It's pretty, um, pretty large. So here we. Describe your sound. Keep going out, brother. Imagine it was the last thing you said. Can y'all hear scribe? Yeah, my mic keeps muting. Peace. Yeah, it went out. Um, you said imagine. Okay. Let me see something here. Okay. Yeah, if it goes out again, just stop me, good brother. You know, I got you, brother. I'm a junior architect. <laughs> I learned from you, Too brother. <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, all right, so when it says, when we go here, and it says, uh, like a hawk of meh, sekef her pest. So this is why it's important to learn the meta nature and why the meta nature class is so important because these English translations only give you um, a very, very infinitesimal meaning of what these words really represent. So the cubit, the meh, which is what's used for measurement, Right, because meditation means to take appropriate measure. So here we have a measurement. It, it makes perfect sense as really to why. Hate. Uh oh. Can y'all hear me? Am I here? Press a one if you can hear me. Press a one if you can hear me. Brother Arcad frozen. Yeah, I can hear I can hear you, Scrub. Okay. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's all right. Doing you're doing good, brother. All right, perfect. Make sure. Okay, here we go. All right, let's get back into it. Yeah, they're giving you uh ones. Okay, perfect. All right, so, so yes, the meh is a uh, is a form of measurement, which of course means to meditate. So, to to have the the cubit, you're already in a form of meditation, which you use meditate to become a shining one. So it makes sense, right? You have the shining one to get rid of any grief, any anxiety through the thought. The meh also means to crown, to be crowned. All right. So you see all these uh, all these beautiful terms with uh, with the same tone. So let's keep it going. We have the pest, which is the backbone. And the pest, which means to illuminate. And um, this is one of the great things that um, occurs is a lot of times on the pod class uh, because of the frequency and where what we're in alignment with, which I learned this from. In the Meta Nature class, this specifically in one of the earlier ones, 
And uh, of course, we have the Pesht, which is the backbone, which means to illuminate. So it's the illuminated backbone that we all see whenever we see images of meditation and the what they call the chakra points going up the spine. And you, you go into a meditative state to eliminate any isfet. All right. So we have the Pesht, which is the backbone, which also means nine. All right. And I broke this down in uh, one of the first classes that we started. I think this was um, episode three where I was uh, breaking down the number nine and how it's connected to our hair. All right. So the pest is also the number nine because the nine is is the actual number of infinity because it's the only number that multiplies and then adds up back to itself. So if you do nine times two, that'll be 18. One plus eight is nine. Nine times three is 27. Two plus seven is nine. And it'll do that for infinity. So it's the only number that does that. And then we have Pesht to spread out like the light or the sky. So we're shining, we're illuminating the back to shine out like the sky. And because meditation is from the root word med, which also creates medicine. Meditation, what's used in meditation will always be, you'll see it connected in the meta nature to uh, some kind of medicine. So a seed of some kind used in medicine, the Pesht. So you'll, you'll consistently see the connection of the meditation and the Pesht. All right, so here we have the Sefek, the seven. I was in the opposite of state Sefek, to relax, to set free. So this is what we want to be in. We want to be in a Sefek. We want to be in a relaxation state so we can set free. With, with being in a, a, a state of panic, you are binded. You're locked in. But whenever you learn to relax, you, be, you unbind and you're able to set free. You're able to break or remove a seal, which are the, um, the, those seals of what they call the chakra points. They're seals. You want to unbreak them. You, wanna, you want to unbind them so you can set that energy free so that serpent energy can flow from the bottom of the spine up through the crown. So that's the seven. So all that associated with the seven, which is why we see the seven chakra points and images like this. All right. So this is very important to understand uh, whenever you go into a meditation, which, of course, I always recommend uh, everyone to uh, to practice uh, going, sitting down and and collecting your thoughts. You know, it's not about not being able to think. It's actually learning how to control your thoughts. So um, a lot of people have the misconception that you have to uh, stop thinking. That's 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 not even you don't want to stop thinking. You want to always be in a consistent thought. You always want to be in a thought process, always want to be in a state of meditation. So as you see, the common hand, the common hand uh, gesture here, whenever you go into the meditation pose. All right, so here we have one of the beautiful scribes, uh, the high priest Amun Ramesses Nakat. All right, and we see the baboon on top of him right there. So here we have chakra, which comes from the pi root quail, to revolve, to move around, to move in a circle. So quail, to revolve, move around, also sojourn and dwell. So when we're when we're dealing with tones because the tones is what's most important it's not about the spelling the spelling is what um is the um yeah the spelling is the misnomer of people get that confused and thinking how you spell something is more important than how you pronounce it so the quail uh because prior to greeks the l there was no l the l was actually the r so that's why um, Leo is associated with the sun uh, because it's Ra. It would be Ra turn into Li, and then they add the O, the Leo. So Kerr, this would be Quer, because this would be a R. So it would be Quer. So this Quer here would be an inhabitant or a dweller, as it says here. Sojourn or dwell. And then we have the Kurt, hollow. 
right? A cavern, a cavern, a cave. The source of the Nile, a circle. So we have the Kurt, the inhabited dweller, and the Kurt, the Kurt, which makes it feminine, which creates the circle. All right, and then so here we have the Sesh, which is the real word for the scribes. A writer, a designer, a scribe. The two divine scribes, Tahuti and Sesheta. So you see the scribal palette right here, which is what they would use to, to write. This is where they would put their ink and this would be their reed pen created from the lotus, which is also Shesh. And then we have Shesh here to shine, to give out light, because that's what you do when you see the common poses of meditation here today. When you see them in this position, you always see it being emanated of light because you go into a meditation to learn how to control your thoughts and emanate your light and allow that serpent energy to crawl up the spine so you can be reborn. So you can reborn, uh, rebirth yourself. So all these words are connected. You know, this is a beautiful word, the shesh, which there are tons of, you know, if you, uh, if you don't have a uh, hieroglyphic dictionary, I would suggest getting one and just read it like a book. It'll help to break all those spells because you'll start fit. You'll, you'll see the light language. How is how is the opposite of today? So, yes, here it says sitting statue of high priest Amun Ramesses Nakat as a scribe with a baboon on the shoulders, dedicated by his, by his son, Esamun made of granite, found at Karnak in the great temple, Chichet, reign of Ramesses IV, the 20th dynasty. And then here's the museum number right here if you wanna look this up. Okay, so let's keep moving. All right, so here's the very, very, very common uh, scene of the hand gesture of the meditation pose. Right here, this is what's called the Lam. The Lam, the seed, the mantra, which goes to the root. The root, what they uh, connect with the Mola Hara Chakra, which is the red at the bottom, the very root, the root chakra. And its vibration is believed to activate this energy center. So it's allowing vital life force energy known as Prana to flow freely. All right, so here they're going to give you um, the, not the original uh, word. So this is what I'm telling you is the Sefek, because Sefek means to set free. It means to unbind, to flow freely. The vital life force at the bottom of the seven. All right, and then Lam, the chanting of the Lam can be a powerful means of shifting energy throughout the body. So here they're telling you about the tone that you speak. So when we look here, we'll see that we'll go right here. So as you can see, this is was a this is this is the common pose of the scribes holding the reed pen. So they would see this, you know, they would see this and they would see these depicted in these statues and they would see the scribes go to sit down in this position and write with their hand in the position that you see commonly known today as the Lam. So here is the statue of the seated scribe cross-legged, which this is 2620, the fourth dynasty. Okay. This effect to relax, to set free. It's beautiful. Okay, so when you go into a meditation and you encompass yourself because um, when you think like to be able to understand a culture, you have to be able to understand how they thought themselves. So it's very difficult to study commit in its, in its purest form without learning the Medunetra because 
you won't be able to place yourself in the thought process of the ancient people of Kemet and what they thought whenever they went to sit down or whenever they went to do anything that they did because everything was connected. So when you would see this, you would just think, uh, you know, oh, this, this is just someone sitting down writing. But we know that this is the Shesh, which means to give out light. So as a Shesh, he's giving out light and he uses the scribal palette from the lotus flower which is also the shesh which is planted in the muddy waters that opens up whenever you whenever the sun rises over it so as as it receives light it opens up so this is uh just a very deep and beautiful teaching when when able to understand the language and the words because you can understand the thought process just an infinitesimal amount that this brother was had in his mindset when he went to sit down and write to be able to pass the knowledge direct on to his son and to continue the information going so to become a hawk of gold one must begin to understand the original teachings of what it means to meditate this will enhance your ability to become in a state of suffect relaxation and have outer body experiences the original symbology of being in a heightened state has been forgotten, yet has been hidden in modern day spirituality. The ancient teachings show us to be in a constant state of meditation. So here is a word right here, Naka. So Naka means to think, to meditate, to cogitate, to devise a plan. Here's the waves. And the bowl, the ka. And then we have nakat with the t, which makes a which makes a word feminine, which creates the thought. So the same word for meditation to think, the naka, which of course means a thought, the nakat. So the root word of naka is neck. And then neck we have here to copulate. Copulation. So when you go into a state of meditation, you're actually going into a state of copulation because everything is connected through sex magic, which is why the very first thing that I showed in, in, in my last class and um, and showing how we are the heroes that they portray that we have forgotten about how language creates the spell language means to speak spell means to speak spell became hex hex became six six became sex so from the very beginning they already have you connecting sex and magic so all is sex magic so if they can poison your thought process of what sex magic is then you can no longer what comes from copulation creation so we walk around in a state of hypno, in a sleep state, in a, in a dead state, because we're no longer creating. And it comes from thought, the naka. And the neck, which is the bull as well, because the bull is, is what you would see to upi, to be the opener, to open up those energy points to allow the serpent energy to flow freely from the base of your spine on up. So you can be in more connection with your thoughts because your thought is what helps to create the reality around you. Because before you even speak, you have a thought process through the speaking. So it's very important to understand that meditation isn't just sitting down and not thinking. It's the opposite. So here is a um, here is a meditation that I do. And it's called the Peshur. To evolve, to make a circuit, to turn the face around. So the Peshur, same thing as the quell, which is the Kerr, the circle, to revolve, to make a circuit, to turn the face around. And the Peshent, because it'll always be connected to medicine, because meditation is also medicine, it's to heal, it's what you use to heal. So it's a seed used in medicine. So as you go into that Peshur, and the root word of that is what? Pesh, 
to spread out the wings to fly so this is something that i practice here is when i go to sit down and i'll take all that information with me as the shesh i go in and i want to be in a state of, sh of shesh to give out light and to be in a state of safek relaxation to unbind all of all of whatever is going on throughout the day whatever happened you remove that you don't you don't let that bind you you set free and then you practice the pressure you visualize you stepping outside of yourself and turning around and looking at yourself just like this the pressure to turn the face around and you only can do that when you're in a patch when you spread the wings to fly so you come out and you visualize looking at yourself and you can inspect you go into a state of my eye at that point you start inspection and this is good to help expand your consciousness and help expand your visualizations which will of course will travel into your your dream worlds to the dream state into the netakert into the upesh into the res so this is uh this is a good practice to do is visualize yourself looking at yourself and then you can just inspect take time to go through those points those seven curves up the spine and you look at them you cleanse them you create with thought and um you're able to realize that you are in more control of your thought than you ever known before so this is a, a excellent practice to do right here so when you go to sit down you take all this with you okay and then so you really understand what meditation actually means which means to think the opposite of not thinking okay so let's keep going now i'm going to show you all a, a very controversial image that a lot of times well all the time is of course uh, misrepresented so i'm going to correct that so this is the papyrus of hinutawi right here so as you see here you see these images a lot of times uh, you'll see people in debates bring this up for a reason of homosexuality but we know that these uh, these people who bring this up in this type of context are completely disconnected from the, the culture of Kemet because we we all know that that was uh, something that was not going on that didn't come into the Greeks so when we have here we see this we see Geb this is a depiction of Geb in a full circle with his erected penis going to his mouth all right and then we have also um, a, a depiction here and here's the nut and here's another image of Geb here so we're going to show you uh, I'm going to show you to start with what the British Museum says in the actual museum so this scene of auto fellatio is a variant on the usual scene of the cosmos as Nut and Geb. Here, however, specifically the night sky seems to be represented as a male who is identified as Osiris, foremost of Westerners, maker of heaven, maker of earth, maker of the netherworld. All right, so it's Osiris and Geb, the great God who made the earth and all that in circles. The fact that Osiris is ithophallic presumably refers to the fact that he is potent and resurrected because Osiris is the resurrected one. So, of course, an erected penis will represent res erection because it's an erection. And when you do it again, when you're in a state of ray, it's you do it again and again to redo. So you re, re res erected while Gibbs auto fellatio was presumably a way of representing himself as self-sustaining and fertile. Like the masturbating creator God, although alone, he is still capable of creation. So this is very deep. And this can, uh, when you take this understanding into your meditations, you're able to create and what they call manifest 
on a whole nother level because although alone he is still capable of creation you create alone there's no one with you as you go into your states and you go to create and you go to manifest the motif of Gab's posture but not the sex act is paralleled in other scenes which show the deity as androgynous to indicate fertility so we know Gab is a representation of the earth and the earth of course is is fertile as it bears its own its own seeds and bears its own fruit from that so when we look at the the phallus which is the met the met here so the word met which means phallus this is a determinant for that the front and male masculine and procreate so to procreate and we always got to keep in mind that commit is always working in duality so when we go here we have met male man phallus and met also means 10 the procreation because the 10 is what's after the nine right so you have one through nine and then after that it starts the numbers back over again the recreation so now you have the 10 so met creates the 10 And then you also have the metu, the metut, which means poison, because the same thing that you can use to create, you can use for poison as well. It both works in the same, they both work with each other. So, so at the same time that you use for creation and for healing, it can also be used for poison. So we have to always keep that in mind. So met or mut met which also means death so at the same time it means procreate can also mean death because it can become poison if you don't use it in it's and it's uh in it's uh, right perspective then it can bring death which is the opposite of procreation and then we have met right here met or mut which means mother because of the dualistic nature right so it's life and death and this is one thing that I always love to bring out because it's a dualistic nature. The same thing that you can that can help you can be the same thing that limits you. So the metet is the middle of anything. So that goes back to the meditation, which is med, which means to be in the middle. The med, which is the met, because the T and the D are the same letter. Just one's a soft T and the other one's a more harder D. So it's the middle of anything. And the metet is righteousness, integrity. So when you're in a state of metet, use righteousness and integrity. But ultimately, for this image here, the met, which of course means procreate, creates the word metu, which means word, speech, and command. So that's why you see it going up to the mouth because it's the same. It's literally the same thing here. It's a full circle. There is no separation from what is going on here through the mouth you create and through the phallus you create or through the mouth you can also uh, be poisonous and the same thing with the seed depending on the source of where that seed is coming from so it can also be poison and it can cause death all right so the met which creates the metu nature the hieroglyphs the words of the gods so this is what this is symbolizing. This is a autonomous self-creation. The same thing of when you go into a meditation because it means to neck is to copulate, which means meditation to think. So you go into your sex magic to create either through your mouth and through thought. And it's all a full circle. And it's a very, very, very powerful teachings that have been forgotten because once again, with the English, you come in, they automatically take language, spell, spell, hex, hex, six, six, sex. And they automatically connect sex magic to negativity. And because they knew the power of this. And as they continue to use this, they made sure to give it to us in a way to where we're no longer capable of creating. So here we have an image of creating self, self-creation. So this image right here. 
is no different than this. But because we have certain brothers who are immature in their mind and in their consciousness, you know, they, they can only uh, see what they see. You know, they have a lot of the Greek teachings deep in their subconscious and in their soul. So here we have the self-reflection meditation of creating oneself, of healing oneself. So at the same time you create yourself, you can heal yourself and you can also destroy yourself through your words and through your thought. So this is why it's so important to what they say, watch your tongue and watch your thoughts because they can either be used for your own benefit or they can be used to destroy you. And that's what this matrix is for. It's meant to control your thoughts and your tongue. So we walk around in a hypnotic state, destroying each other and not creating. This is where this is. This is what is going on. This is what the matrix is built on top of. So we have the ma'u, the head, thing by which one sees the face, mirror. So just as I just showed in the previous med meditation, you put a mirror to yourself and you see that reflection. You go into the ma'u, her, because what? The ma'u or the meow, the ma'u is also here. The ma'u, the meow. To think, to ponder, to bear in mind, to remember, to fix the attention on something. And I and I taught in the previous class the uh, when I was speaking about uh, light and pata and consciousness when we when I was teaching about the uh, importance of attention, which is why I always give adoration to those who pay attention because without your attention, this this never happens. The attention is what allows a particle to change to a wave and become more direct so the ma'u of course means to fix the attention to think which means to meditate so the ma'u her is the meditation is the meditation of the mirror to see the face to do what to be the ma'i to become new once again to become new once again meditation is self-creation it is the rebirthing of oneself to become new again this happens through thought and attention of the mind ask tell and receive masculine and feminine become a being of light through removing what doesn't serve you in your reflection so you remove what doesn't serve you all that that does not serve you you have to remove it and this is a great meditation this is a great thing to think upon, to go into a, a meditative state to think about. And when you do the mirror reflection and you're in a state of ma'at, of inspecting, you look at yourself energetically and you remove all that doesn't serve you. So you can become the ma'ut. So you can light, radiance, brilliance, and splendor. The shesh, to shine. All right. So these are very, very powerful meditations that you can use to take with you and become in a more light body state. So here we have meditation again, so I can continue to show you the thought reflection study prayer thinking over from Parut Med. So here we have an image of a sesh of with again, once again, with the baboon on his head the thought so the baboon is a physical representation of Tahuti all right and this was one of the one of the first offerings that I gave to Saba Tahuti as a scribe is the image of the baboon of Tahuti in his state of the baboon so this is circa 1295 to 1070 BC with the baboon sitting on the head. So shesh, which is hair, which I broke that down in a much earlier class, class three, also means to shine to give out light, but it also means night because it's a dualistic nature. So through this whole thing, I'm showing you the 
dualism of creation because it can also be destruction because you can also destroy something to create space so it all works together and as a sesh you're able you're skillful your knowledge and you're a learned man all right so here's an image of a baboon here in a in a meditative state which is why we see the baboons being connected with the with Tahuti, the thought of Thoth, thought, we see here. So here we have Sesh Nai, the Sesh Nai, which means to pray. Because meditation also means prayer, private devotions, which is prayer. The Sheshep, to receive. The words words beginning with the sign this is the sashep and this was another glyph i asked about uh because um in the medu Netra class you know so i'm always asking saba tahuti about glyphs because i really want to understand what these glyphs are so i'll leave that up for um interpretation but i'll just give you right here here's the ma'a but this has a very, very powerful teaching and you can purchase a Metanetra class to get the full breakdown on what this glyph is and what it means. And it's very powerful, but it means to receive. The sachet to weave, right? We have the weaving symbol here. So as you're praying or as you're receiving, you're weaving through the two, through, through the duality, the dualistic nature. To find the balance, the, the sesh shish. So the language is so beautiful. Everything is connected with each other in such a powerful way. So as you're going through all these understandings, when you have all these under understandings in your thought process, of course, this is all teachings of ma'at, to be in a state of ma'at, to weigh, to balance. And because meditation also deals with medicine, it will always deal with a seed used in medicine because these are seeds that you use to heal yourself. So it'll always connect. So here we have prayer. Prayer is planting the seed. Creation is made up of sound vibration. Before receiving the fruits, sound vibrations must be given. The same word for prayer is that which gives birth and sustains life. So I've given many classes on sound vibration and uh, and, and have broken down the creation stories uh, in the Shabaka stone uh, with Ptah speaking his own name. I uh, broke down another creation story just, just earlier. So it all deals with sound vibration, the Met, the Metu, to speak. So the Shed, the Shed, to read, to recite, to pray, to utter an incantation, to pronounce letters, to declaim poetry, to strike up a tune. The shed, reading, recitation, incantation, a spell. All right, so the ancient Cometians were so in tune that they understood that everything is connected to, through sound vibration and created through sound vibration. So when we have prayer, this is the this is a common hand, hand signal that you see when uh, when going into prayer. You see uh, you see people praying with their hand on their head and the and they're praying with speaking into the hand, speaking into the hand as you pray. Right. So what would be the same word for this right here? The shed. This right here. What does this symbol even represent? Of course because you're using it through creation and what's used to give birth, to receive, to sashep, the shed is also the vagina. So this hand signal here is the vagina that you use to pray and you ask so you can be able to receive and bear its fruit, the shed. And shed also means to suckle, to nurse, to rear a child, to train and to educate. This is uh, so powerful. So when you go into a prayer, you know, which means to ask, you're in a state of meditation. And through the hand signal, you're already creating the vagina with your hands. 
And the vagina is what's used to plant the seeds to bear a full child. All right. So therefore, the hand prayer position is representation of the vagina. This is why when praying, you place your head on your hands and recite tones. So what word means to suck or to suckle in etymology to suckle the shed? So what would make this this word shed? This would be what to rear a child, of course. So this would, of course, be a feminine word. You see the glyph right here of the breast. So what word means to suck in etymology, to suckle? Feminine. So we have feminine here, which literally she who suckles from pi root dai to suck. The usual modern sense of woman-like, proper to or characteristic of women, is recorded from the 15th to mid-15th century. So whenever you go into the shed, into the prayer, as through the vagina, and which is also the same word for suckle, you understand that that's a feminine concept. So this is why a woman can take a sperm cell that is 0 0.005 centimeters and multiply it into a full baby, 20 inches in length. The woman is a step up transformer that multiplies everything that is planted within her. The ovum has 23 chromosomes, including one sex chromosome, which is an X chromosome. It is important to note that an ovum will never carry a Y chromosome. It is important to note that an ovum will never carry a Y chromosome. Geneticists have discovered that all human embryos start life as females as do all embryos of mammals. It isn't until about the second month that the fetal test elaborate enough androgen to offset the maternal estrogens and maleness develops. So everyone on the planet starts off as a female. So when you learn that, how could Adam be the first? We know that that's a, uh, a story meant because the whole uh, idea of religion and Christianity is to eliminate the female, to eliminate the feminine. And if we understood all of this concept as the Cometians did, we would have no problem creating the reality that we see fit. We wouldn't have no problem getting into a state and bringing forth of what they call manifesting our reality into what we want. So here's an image. Oh, let me show you this right here. So this right here, of course, is with the hands open. So this is what you use to receive. So this is literally you go from the vagina and you open it up to receive as the vagina does to receive a baby in childbirth. So, oops. So here's the um, here's an image of the uterus here. Let me spread this out so I can stop doing that. Here's the image of the uterus here, which the great brother Ahati broke this down in one of his classes and showing the uterus and how it's connected to the cow. Right? The mother goddess Het Heru. Right here. Here's the Het Heru. And as you see, as the sperm cell goes in, because the feminine multiplies everything that you put within it, within her, the seed comes in. And as you see, it starts to double up, it starts to multiply. It just multiplies and continues to multiply. And this is how a thought works. This is how a thought works as well. When you go into the shed, into prayer, into the vagina, to continue to multiply the thought. So we have the hemp, the hemp tea, the uterus, the matrix, the pudenda, and the hemp tea is the cow, right, with the glyph of the vulva. So the hemp tea, which is also the word for wife that the great brother Hati taught us. Is the uterus.
Subscribe. Your sound went out again, brother. Hotep. Peace. Can you hear me? Yes. You're good, brother. Okay. Thank you. I don't know why I keep doing that. All right. So here we have the uh, the Hemti, the mother cow goddess, which is Het Heru. The Het, which makes makes her the mother, the house, the Het Heru, the house of Heru, to birth Heru. And then we have some imagery here of the great mother cow goddess. Here's the museum number for you guys to look this up. All right. And this is uh, from 3500 BCE with Narmer, Narmer's palette. And Het Heru right here. Reign of Amenhotep III. It's a beautiful image here. All right, so with we knowing that the Hem T, the vagina, is the, the uterus, is the original matrix. So now when we look at the word matrix, it means mother. So this is very beautiful. So having this understanding knows that now the matrix that we live in today, of course, is not the mother that has been completely eradicated and destroyed. But the original matrix, the hem the womb, which is what's all used to create when you go into your meditations originally means mother the mut the mother of mothers the vulture which has a beautiful teaching behind it mut the mother goddess of all egypt who in late times was said to possess like neith the power of parthenogenesis mut in the horizon of heaven or mu water any large mass of water watery supply a liquid because all is birthed through the water and it, it's the same applies for the vagina the shed and mama we all say mama which means to give light because that's what your mother does your mama to give light ma which creates ma'at and we all you know this is the teachings of ma'at so we don't know who my aunt is this is uh you should definitely uh uh send a question in to saba tahuti because he uh there's so many so many teachings to go in uh when it comes to the to the great mother goddess ma'at okay the personification of law order rule truth righteousness and ma'at which is also sight vision to see something and an inspection which is why you heard me say earlier when you go into your meditation and you and you practice the pressure when you're doing the mirror, the self-reflection, looking at it, looking at yourself, you go, you always go into a state of ma'at, of inspection. You inspect your reflection. And so here we have with knowing the original matrix is mut, mother, you can now have a more intimate connection when performing a specific meditation. Visualize the matrix around you and go within her and inspect. This is the origin of manifestation through the birthing process, through the heart and through its mind, because the heart has its own mind. With the use of the tongue allows for reality to bend at your will. So we're going to go into here, the legends of the Egyptian gods, hieroglyphic texts and translations by E.A. Wallace Budge. All right, and I'm going to show you. We're going to go into the legend of Ra and Isis. Ra and Aset. So, we're going to read here what's in the red. Behold, the goddess Isis lived in the form of a woman who had the knowledge of words of power, who had the wreck of the Hekau, the knowledge of words of power. Because you want to use your power as your words for power, not for destruction, not for cursing. There's no need for that. 
This is what has been taken away from us with the English language, which is why the Medu Netra class is so important. This is why what Saba Tahuti is doing in the Medu Netra class is um, it's just absolutely beautiful. It's just so beautiful. And the fact that we have this knowledge and we have a Saba to teach us the Medu Netra, I, I tell you guys every week to make sure you're tapped into that Medu Netra class because this is a key point to breaking out of the matrix fully, completely. We have to get rid of this English language and go back to the source light language as the Natiru did because behold the goddess Isis who lived in the form of a woman, in the form of a woman who had the knowledge of words of power. Her heart turned away in disgust from the millions of men. Her heart turned away in disgust from men, from the millions of men. And she chose for herself the millions of the gods, the millions of the Netaru, but esteemed more highly the millions of the spirits, of the Ak, of the Ku. Was it not possible to become even as was Ra in heaven and upon earth? Was it not possible to become even as Ra in heaven and upon earth? and to make herself mistress of the earth and a mighty goddess thus she meditated in her heart by the knowledge of the name of the holy netzer behold ra so here was the here's the naka the word i showed you earlier that means to meditate which also means neck which means to copulate thought so here's the Naka, the Naturt, the goddess, the Naturt, the Naka. And here you have the, the hand to the mouth, the meditate, the set em, Eb, in her heart, in her heart. She, the set er, the wreck. So here's the knowledge of the mouth. And then here's a glyph of the, the placenta above a shesh scroll which represents consciousness. So through sound vibration and through the placenta, which siphons and cleans out all that's not necessary, that's what creates the word knowledge of the Ren, which here's the mouth glyph and the, the waves, which I broke down in an earlier class as well, of how it's speaking vibrations, you know? And so with the hand to the mouth, the knowledge of the Ren, the knowledge of the sound vibration, Okay, of the Netur. So we have the Eeb. She meditated in her heart. So the heart, this is very important for us to really understand about what the heart symbolizes and what it means. It is the middle because meditation is also med, which means the middle or the met. The met is also middle to be in the middle of. The middle of wisdom, understanding, intelligence. So the heart is intelligent. Attention, once again, attention. Why attention is so important. Intention, the attention internal. Disposition, manner, will, wish, desire, the mind. So this is all connected to the Eve, the heart. So when you're meditating in your heart, you have to ha take this understanding with you that this is the attention, the wisdom, the understanding, the knowledge. This is um, advanced teachings of of meditation and understanding that the heart is uh, is more than just connected to just what we think of love and that red symbol that they created for the heart. It's far more expansive than that. So when they dilute our knowledge of the heart, we lose all of this. So why Aset meditates in her heart with the knowledge of the sound vibration of the Netzer. Mm. Just imagine what we can create. So the Heka, the magic, working a magic, a sorcery, a spell. And the Hekait, the T makes a word feminine, so it creates the sorceress. The Ka, 
the two arms up, to raise, the double person, the strength of the Ka, the beauty of the Ka. Here's the Nefer, and I broke that down last week, or the week before, my, my last class. The Nefer, which is the heart and the trachea, which leads up to the vocal box that you use to create your sound vibration to speak. And here's the Ka, the beauty of the Ka. So the Ka also creates the word Kat because when you add a feminine uh, vibration to it, it adds the T to the end. So the Heka and the Ka, which is the double, you add the T, the Kat, it becomes thought meditation. So the Kat, the neck, which is the copulation, the, the Naka, the meditation, the same word is Kat. Thought meditation, thought of the heart. The ka at hat, eb, the thought of the heart. So thought meditation is kat, which is also vulva and vagina. So as you see, it's completely full circle all the way around, no matter which way you go in the meta nature, it's always gonna connect with each other. Through the feminine and through the vagina, you're able to create through meditation because the as the shed the shed which is of course the vagina and meditation here we have cot which is also meditation and vagina which creates the word ka the double this is why you always hear me say doubles in my tracks because we have to understand what how it's all connected and the kait the cow, the mother goddess, the cow. And I always will show you that it's connected to medicine. So the kat shoot is a herb used in medicine because meditation is also from med, which means meditation. So meditation is definitely used for healing through the thought process. And the ancient Kometians knew this, which is why you'll always find the word meditation also creates the word medicine and it create the word vagina. So, so when they take away the female, you see how it takes away your ability to create. And of course we have the heck because what meditation also means ruler to rule. So we have the heck, the heka, the sorcery, the magic, the words of power that are set used because you're a ruler. You use the heck, the heka, to rule, to govern, to direct, and to guide. So you use your thoughts to guide, use your speech to guide your outcomes. So the same word, heka. And meditation is the root word, med, is to take appropriate measure. So, of course, heku would be to measure grain. So we have the measurement and to rule. So this is why you see all these meanings in the definition of meditation. So when you're in a state of heka, you're, you're in a state of rulership through your heka, through your speech, through the words of power. And you measure appropriately because you don't want to do too much and you don't want to do too less. You, want, you don't want to do too few. You want to make sure that you measure appropriately. So you can measure with the meh and you can mehi and give light. And then we have kahi, ka, which comes from the word, of course, ka over here. The ka. The kai, which is, you see here, the flame rising up means to measure. So now when you go, when you go into meditation, if you haven't, uh, if you're not familiar with meditations or you're, you, you, you told yourself, I can't really meditate because I can't really, I can't stop thinking. So now you, that, that, that spell has been broken because it's the opposite of all that. It means thought reflection study, prayer, thinking over to take appropriate measures so that way you can heal yourself and you can heal others through the heka through the words of power
all right so and i put all these slides on the website at teachingsofmyot.org for you all to uh purchase I'm, i make it very affordable it's uh 333 so you can actually purchase these slides so you can take these and and study them uh, and you also have this video presentation so there's a lot of information here and you can take this this right here and uh completely change everything about your perspective when it comes to being able to uh manifest the movie the secret isn't going to teach you this now i do have another slide but i know saba tahuti is coming in at nine uh my time so uh seven o'clock so we'll uh we'll see let me see here how long is the slide scribe uh probably i don't know it'll probably take me maybe 15 minutes let's see here let's um i'll i'll go and um because he has the link sabatuti has the link so if he um if he comes in i'll just stop okay perfect okay so we're gonna close it out with a um with an excellent scribe. Let's see here. Uh, window. All right, so here we have Amenhotep, son of Hapu, 1425 to 1356 BCE. He was an architect, a priest, a scribe, a public official who was deified after his death and worshiped, worshiped as a sage and a god of healing because meditation means to heal so this is in the um the museum of egyptian antiquities in cairo uh so here's a beautiful image of this brother here one of amenhotep son of hapu's most famous architectural creations was pharaoh amenhotep iii's mortuary temple in thebes near modern luxor the grandest of all mortuary complexes built in Egypt. It originally included three massive mud brick pylons or gates aligned on a single axis and a long connecting corridor leading to an immense open solar courtyard, a roof tall, a sanctuary and sacred altars. This brother here and how how are you going to create something like this without being in a con consistent state of meditation? consistent state you, you you cannot ever break meditation so if we want to get to this level of creation and architecture and scribal abilities and healing abilities we have to always understand at least do our best to think as these great brothers did at that time when amenhotep son of hapu died pharaoh amenhotep iii ordered a small funerary temple built right next to his own funerary complex an honor which had never been bestowed in such a way before so he had put in so much work that the great amenhotep iii ordered that this brother here would have his own funerary temple built right next to his that's an incredible feat that only someone of supreme absolute meditation would be able to achieve after his death, Amenhotep, son of Hapu's, reputation grew and he was esteemed as a philosopher for his teachings. He was also revered as a healer and eventually worshipped as a god of healing like his predecessor, Imhotep. So we're going to go to this image here, British Museum number EA-103. This is a, a statue, of course, you see it heavily broken, but we do have inscription here. And we're going to um, read what's on this inscription right here. So 
here's the English and here's the, the uh, transliteration. So given as a favor from the king to the temple of Amun and Epet Sut for the prince and mayor, chief of upper and lower Kemet, great of favor before his majesty, royal scribe, scribe of recruits, overseer of the estate of the great king's daughter, Amenhotep, true of voice, Makaru. He says, I have come before you, Lord of gods, Amun, Lord of the thrones of the two lands. You are Ra who appears in the sky, illuminating the land with the perfection and gloriousness of his eye, which goes out in the primeval waters, appearing in the water, giving birth to a number of the great Enid, one who knows his body and begat himself as he who came into being of himself. So royal scribe, overseer of prophets of Horus, of Heru, Lord of Kimwer, Amenhotep, true of voice. I don't, this, this is so powerful. This, this meditation in itself, this is, uh, goes back to exactly what I was showing with the uh, autonomous self-creation to create through your own, through your own ability Nothing outside of yourself is needed to create your reality around you. So, I mean, I love the way when they when they go into these writings, how they they write directly who they are, royal scribe or overseer of prophets of Heru. You know, this is this is so powerful and beautiful through the Makaru, through the true voice, through the voice. Right. So you can you can even sit and go into a thought process of this of Ra appearing in the sky illuminating the land with the perfection and gloriousness of his eye which goes out into the primeval waters appearing in the water giving birth to a number of other great Natiru the any the nine the infinite the pest one who knows his body you have to know your body how can you know something without inspection you have to be in a state of my eye and inspect your own body to be able to do this and begat himself and he who came into being of himself very very powerful so here is the per imharu and then we have this on page of the uh, page 89 the papyrus of ani so i know because you have to know yourself to know your own body i know my own heart wreck which is the wreck the mouth and the placenta and the and the scroll the sesh scroll of consciousness of light through sound vibration and siphoning out to know to know my heart i have gained power over my heart i have gained power sekem i have gained power over my two hands and arms. I have gained power over my feet. I have gained power to do what pleaseth my ka. Not shall be imprisoned. My soul. My body. At the gates of Amenta. At the entrance in peace. And coming forth in peace. So. I'll close it with that. This is a very, very powerful um, section here to meditate on to Sakim, to Sakim a Arit Merert Ka. And this is what I have over my head and my background. I carry this with me so I can gain power to do what pleases my Ka. All right, to come at the entrance in peace and coming forth in peace and Hotep. So with that, I'll say Hotep. Hotep Ma'at. So peace and love, everyone. I hope you enjoyed uh, the presentation. I hope you learned a lot. Uh, Angela Gates, yes, yes, you'll get all these slides uh, whenever you make that purchase on the website. So yes, you'll get all these slides. So Tua, um, so now with that being said, I will now introduce and bring forth the great Saba Tahuti, the 
reason for everything that we're doing here the one who is guiding and leading us through the actual teachings of ma'at from the scribes themselves to our hotel ma'at let's welcome the great saba tahuti okay greetings hotel <laughs> Please. Oh, tap Saba. Peace and love, Saba. All right. Can I be heard? Yes, yes. we can hear you. Okay, wonderful. Everybody here, Mahati's here, Arcad, Scribe. Wonderful. Greetings, everyone. Peace and love. What a great class, Scribe. How do I sign up? How do I sign up? <laughs> <laughs> Teachings of my dot. <laughs> <laughs> Teachers, uh, come join us. Yeah, come join us. Oh man, I see y'all. See who got the best teacher on the internet. Y'all see what it is. Hey, yo, listen. I'm finna tell y'all. It's about. It's 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 not fair no more. It's really not fair, Saba. The way you teaching us, cause oh uh, man, scribe, you making them brothers out there look. Man, listen. Oh man, it's not fair, guys. It's not fair. Shout out to the best teacher on the internet. Saba Tahuti, I'm an old Tep Rai. Y'all know what it is. Peace, Saba. Welcome to our show. Welcome. Hey, this is great. This is great. Wonderful. I'm so proud and happy to see all of this happen. One of my goddesses just asked me if I was if I was proud of all this, and I was very, very pleased. Um, I said all this came because in 2006. I decided to make notes for my own personal self and those notes I kept on a computer file and I call those notes um, stepping out of the matrix and they're they're my personal notes just for me just for me to study and I said to myself let me let me print this let me print this out let me um let me go on a thing called pal talk and teach some things from this. And it was just my own personal notes. I have, they're about this thick, that that book, um, Stepping Out of the Matrix is, um, is a portion of it. The big master book is about like this. It's called Secret of the Ages. And I just took a chunk out of it and sequenced it in order and called that Stepping Out of the Matrix. And then I took another little chunk out of it and called that Melanin Dark Consciousness. I can keep taking chunks out and making more books. <laughs> Um, but it was just my own personal study notes. It wasn't really for anybody but my um, my family at the time and some people that I was teaching on Pal Talk. And um, I told my goddess, uh, I said, look at this. It was now a channel with people teaching my personal notes. I, th I think even the little square, the red square on the, um, the word Peset and all that, is from my notes that scribe had up and i was like look at that that's from my that's just my notes <laughs> and now it's a teaching now people right. um people actually want this i didn't think i didn't think this was um wanted so i was just going to raise up my family and that's that was it and now there's um all this is happening which is beautiful and wonderful and now i have hope and now i'm um, gonna keep teaching the masses this is just my personal notes <laughs> Stepping out the matrix. That's all. Pleased to be here, everybody. This is wonderful. Glad to see you safe, Arcad. Yes, I had a great trip. I uh, went to a wedding. We had a great time. It was wonderful. You went to where? To a wedding. So I went to a wedding. Some family. It was a wonderful, wonderful experience. Got to spend time with our family, guys. We are not oh. promised the next moment and we have to appreciate our leaders and our teachers we have to appreciate our saba saba we appreciate you so much you are right this is what this is producing the magic is unfolding right before our eyes it is beautiful <laughs> it is absolutely beautiful thank you all um thank everybody thank ahati thank scribe thank arcad thank everyone um all you all are in some of you who send me messages in the morning, I read them with my um, I read them with my goddesses. Let me get to them. I do a morning um, affirmation and ritual and practice, and um, I read some of your morning messages that you all send me as a part of our uh, ritual. 
So it's a beautiful thing. My goddess is a very pleased. Those who are sending those know who they are and the and most beautiful. I wake up to the most beautiful messages from people that are in the pod class with the most beautiful respect, worship, praise, admiration, appreciation, all type of things. And I send positive messages back and I read them. So my goddesses, my goddesses are very, very happy about it. All right, brother. Um, so I have a surprise for you. Okay. <laughs> it's a good surprise. <laughs> it's All a good right. surprise. Um, all right. So before I give it to you, I want to, um, I want to read something to you that I read to you. I want to say 2019 when I was at your place. Mm. I, me- I remember you, uh, you, uh, video, you videoed it. You took a video of it. And, uh, I actually want to just give a brief backdrop to that and then read that again to you. Um, because I feel the energy now it- it's time and, uh, it will put a great example out there to, uh, everyone that's watching, especially after, um, a couple pod classes ago when you broke down uh, the hailing and the hierarchy and that uh, it's the strong brothers that are not afraid to uh, give encouragement and love and praise. So let me uh, let me share the screen here. Let me turn this down. Share the screen here. Let me know, Arcad, when you can see the screen. We can see. All right, perfect. All right, so this is out of uh, everybody that's reading the literature from ancient Egypt. This is ancient Egyptian literature, The New Kingdom by Miriam Leachum. It's one of my all-time favorite books that Saba introduced me to. I would just call him up asking questions all the time when I first started. And uh, I remember being homeless and reading this, reading our ancestors' words day in and day out, sometimes multiple, 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 multiple times throughout the day got me to where I am at today. So um, first off, Heno Emnesu Saba Tahuti. Now this is uh, page 172 to the Be Ascribed, to Be Ascribed uh, section of the book. I highly recommend it. <clears throat> and this is scribe Winnie D. Moon. Winnie D. Moon is, uh, he's not famous in the conscious community, but he's famous to me, Saba, and his goddesses. And this is, this. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you... Um, I'm going to show you how appreciative students are who find my op from their teachers, how they are, how they act after they find my op towards their, towards their teachers. So I'm just going to read a little bit. I'm not going to read the whole thing. So this is the pupil wishes, the pupil wishes to build a mansion for his teacher. Furthermore, to the royal scribe and chief overseer of the cattle of Amun-Ra, king of the gods, Nebmar Nakat. Nebmar Nakat is the teacher. He's Winnie D. Moon's teacher. Nebmar Nakat. The scribe Winnie D. Moon greets his lord. His lord. His Neb. His all. His everything. He greets his everything. His existence. In life, prosperity, and health. This letter is to inform my everything. Another message to my everything. I grew into a youth at your side. This is a grown man. I grew into I grew into my into I grew into a youth at your side. You beat my back. Cause I the scribes used to get beat. They used to get beat down for disrespect. So this is after getting beat down by a teacher. Can you imagine if brothers are, are running around smacking each other? <laughs> And this is supposed to be a quote-unquote conscious teacher? Oh, man, we're way too sensitive. So, Winnie the Moon used to get beat by his teacher. Listen to the love. Your teachings entered my ear. I am like a pawing horse. 
Sleep does not enter my heart by day, nor is it upon me at night. I will serve my everything, my Lord, just as a slave serves his master. I will serve my everything just as a slave serves his master. I've never been, I never went through slavery in America, um, but that means you have to do everything and you're not getting paid for it. Even take the beatings and still get up at dawn and get on that field and break your back. And Winnie the Moon saying he serves his teacher the same way. I shall build a new mansion for you. Listen to this. I shall build a new mansion for you. He doesn't tell him how. He doesn't ask him for the money. He doesn't say, uh, what are you, how are we going to raise? I'm just going to build it for you. I'm just going to build it for you. I will build a new mansion for you. The ground of your town, not Tomahu town, your town. It's going to be your town and your mansion. Your mansion is going to be in your community, in your town, in your land. With trees planted on all its sides. There are stables within it. Its barns are full of barley and emmer, wheat, cumin, dates, herubic, ganem, beans, lentils, grinder, peas, seed, grain, flax, herbs, reeds, russes, and he goes on and on. I'm not going to read this whole thing here. I'm just going to read what it says here at number 10. It says the teacher has built a mansion. So the mansion <laughs> got built. It wasn't just, we're just, they weren't just speaking. Winnie the Moon wasn't just telling something to make his teacher feel good. So his teacher likes him and praises him back. He said, listen, I'm going to build you your own mansion in your own town. It's going to be filled with all these things. And it got built and the reason why I'm not reading it to you because I would like everybody to go read this for yourselves because when I was first taught uh, I had to go do the research myself okay so this is why I'm gonna read to the great Saba this is very deep and uh, I hope everybody takes from this what I got out of it the first time I read it so it says and this is this is uh this is me speaking to Saba. You are nimble-handed with the censer before the neb of the netter at his every appearance. You are father of the netter, in command of the mysteries, the censer in your right, vices in your left, the censer in your fist, blesses your everything. You are a noble priest in the house of Ptah, versed in all the mysteries in the house of the prince. You are the burial priest of Ka Mutef, the bull of his mother, chief seer of Ray and Waset, offer of the oblations. You are swift-footed at the Sokor feast, drawing Kemet's people to everything with the coup, with the flail. You are graceful with libation bays, pouring, sensing, and calling the praises. You are nimble-handed when you circulate the offerings for most and calling the daily praises. You are he, you are he who holds the eye of Mut, mistress of heaven on the first day of her procession in Ash Aru. You are the water pourer of Kunum in Waset on the day of circulating offerings in the house of the prince. You are wise in planning, skilled in speech, far-seeing, at all times, what you do succeeds. You are a judge of hearts. You resemble Tehuti's bird, the ibis, wise in all ways, like the eye and the ear. You are the good champion of your people. You're champions here. Don't get it twisted. You're looking at champions on a panel right here. You are the good champion of your people. Your great meals overflow like happy. You are rich in food. You know how to pro-offer it to all whom you love like a surging sea. You are a magistrate who is calm, a son of praised ones, loved by all and praised by the Nisu. You are the Nisu to me, but you know, back in that time, there was a Nisu. So this isn't the, let me just stop here real quick. This <laughs> isn't even the Pharaoh that he's talking to. This is a big misconception. This is just, one of the many, 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 many 
Sebas or Sabas in Kemet that got, this isn't even the Pharaoh. Can you imagine what the Nasu's getting? This is just the <laughs> teacher getting this. You are a man of high standing since birth. Your house overflows with foods. You are rich in fields. Your barns are full. Grain clung to you on the day you were born. You are rich in teams. Your sails are bright. Your barges are on the deep, are like jasper. You are rich in crews, skilled in rowing. Their shouts please as they carry and load. So the people that are working for Saba are shouting in joy as they're working. Nobody's like, oh man, I got to go to my nine to five to, oh, I got to clock in today. They were shouting for joy to help this man. You are one weighty of counsel who weighs his answer since birth. You have loathed coarse language. You hate cursing. You hate derogatory statements. You hate contentment and you hate ad hominems. You are handsome in body, gracious in manner, beloved of all people as much as happy. You are a man of choice words who is skilled in saying them. Let me say that again. You are a man of choice words who is skilled in saying them. All you say is right. You hate falsehood. You're one who sits grandly in your house. Your servants answer speedily, beers poured copiously. All who see you rejoice in good cheer. You serve everything, never sure, the God of everything, the universe. You nourish your people. Whatever you say soothes the heart. You are one who offers the beer jug and fills the bowl, one beloved of the herdsmen when the offering is made. You are one who directs the jubilees or the festivals for the universe, one who lays the nine bows, our enemies under his feet, one who provides for his army. I'm going to leave it there. I don't even want to uh, uh, say anything because this is so important to me personally. Uh, some of the brothers on the panel know this. I wasn't even going to do this because it's very, very personal to me, but I felt it needs to be said tonight at this time. So I did it. So I'm going to leave it there. Just know for me, there's no need to interpret this. I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to go to this fantastic video, Saba, that this sister here, I am very proud of. Let me tell her that uh, she is uh, excelling. She's doing great. Um, whatever I tell her, she does it. I, I, I so if there's sisters in the chat, sisters listening in the future, sisters that become members in the future, reach out to this sister. She, she's, she's doing great. So this sister created a video for you, Saba. Um, so here it is. And then I'll pause it and read what it says in it because it goes by pretty fast. <laughs> wow. so, so I'm going to read this to you. Uh, it's almost <laughs> over, so I'm going to read this to you. It says, uh, thank you to Hudi Amenhotep Ra. She wrote this. I didn't take part in this. To uh, uh, Hudi Amenhotep Ra, praises to Saba. You are a diamond in a world of plastic. The great and shining one who digs for the truth and reveals the truth of origin to his listeners. The netter who has come forth as the living image of our ancestors. Hail to Hudi, hail Ma'at. I'm appreciative of your valuable existence, great one. And uh, before we continue, I just want to say the young people in our movement, hail them. Hail them because the young people are, are keeping this movement alive. They're, they're doing... Let me continue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show everybody, I'm going to show everybody the picture that is going to, I'm going to give the Saba when I see him soon. Um, this is your, this is your Saba. Um, this is the painting. Whoa. 
that Antu put together for you within, I would say, roughly three weeks. From from mm. uh, from an idea in my head to putting it down on canvas for you. So, um, so yeah, I mean, of course, oh. when I hand it to you, it's going to be more, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so I'll leave that there and, um, everybody get a good look. This is what we do at Teachings of Ma'at. We don't play games here. We're not in our feelings here. We're not insecure here. We understand, like the scribe taught tonight, that if we do not encourage each other, especially us, we've been so traumatized here, that if we don't do this almost daily, that things like this doesn't get done and greater things that we envision will never be created. So, Saba, I love you. I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to stop sharing and uh, have a great night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, what do you think? That is absolutely. Oh, can I be heard? Yes. That, that is absolutely. What a surprise. That is wonderful. Thank you. Monkey Mott uh, says she saw it in a dream. Oh, thank you, Ka. Interesting. Ka and two underscore and that. Thank you so much. What a beautiful um, artwork. What a beautiful video. Is um, and. Ahati, are you you said that that's a physical thing that you're that you that you are going to have? Yes, yeah, she she's trying to get it out uh, yesterday, but um, she couldn't get there in time. No, she got there, but um, she didn't have my information enough of it. So okay, the uh, peel boxes, peel boxes set up. Hmm? The peel boxes set up. No, no, I'm just gonna have it sent to my place. I'm, I'm not oh, really okay. worried about. It. I'm not really oh. worried. Okay, um, good. Okay, beautiful. So that is not, beautiful. not this week, but next week when I see you, I'll bring it. Beautiful. That is absolutely. Thank you, thank you, Ahati, for your you work. For your work. I remember, I remember that. I remember the old writings. That that uh, uh, I love you, them, you, man. You discovered those, and you realized that's how men men used to speak. You never knew that's how. Men spoke to each other, and and it, and it wasn't even the Pharaoh yet. It was it was it was just his teacher. <laughs> it was just his teacher, um, and as you can see, the same way that that he was speaking to his teacher, parallels the way Senehu was attributing to Senesaret, the Pharaoh, the the, and Eminem had the way that they spoke to each other, they all saw each other as Netter, whether it was the teacher Saba, the Pharaoh, that's just how men used to speak to each other. That is um that is beautiful. That is wonderful. Ati, send me that um send me that version of the uh, PDF that you have. The same one you just read from. Okay, yeah. Send send me send me all three volumes in that in that form. Mm -hmm. Um I want to see that that one. Um, thank you so much. Um, thank you, all of you. Appreciate you. What a beautiful, um, what a beautiful video. I never expected yeah. to come and see a video. <laughs> I never expected to see a draw a drawing of me. This is only this is the second drawing of me ever done. Mm. And they both look like me. <laughs> so that, that's uh, that's a beautiful that was that's great. great that's a real artist right there thank you absolutely um, ka event two appreciate you appreciate you ahati arcad scribe what a beautiful um how beautiful this was great class you taught scribe i was in and out of it when i came in you were you were performing a song um my one of my goddesses said that sounds like uh Scar this ghetto boys and then somebody typed in Sounds like they get up, <laughs> um, and that that was uh, that was beautiful. A little thank you, Ahati. Thank you, Arcad. Thank you, Arcad, for getting back safely. Um, you never know when you're not going to see anybody again. So, uh, this is my first time seeing you safe since you said you were on the trip, and you did. And thank you for the message of telling me uh, you got there safe. So appreciate all of you. This is very beautiful. Thank you all. Um, what a beautiful thing. I, I look forward to getting that that plaque or picture, and that's going to go. 
I already have a space for it. I'm already going to move something. I already know exactly where it's going to be seen as soon as people walk in the door. It's close enough to building a statue for you for now. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Black men are building statues for each other. Who do they think they are? Oh, and wait, wait till people see the wait till people see the the person who made that. Ah, oh, <laughs> traitor. Let, let's shake up, <laughs> shake up the conscious community. <laughs> this has never been done before. This is a beautiful. Hey, yes. Hey, the moderators are in the room too. Yes. Right. Nanya Setmer and Ankia Maat. Beautiful. This is great. Everybody here. This is wonderful. What um, what do you have? What, what do you all have planned? Oh, those are hearts. Ah, oh, thank you. What do you all have um planned now? You did your you did your uh, you did your presentation. Where are you in the class now? Is this where you invite people up to the uh, interact yeah. with people? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, sir. It's when we invite people up you to want the to panel. Stay on? I'm I'm gonna stick. I'll stick on for a little bit. I have right, I have a little bit. I'm in the middle. I'm in the midst of um, of snake feeding, but I'm gonna take a break. Nice. So we're gonna put the link in the chat. We invite everybody to come up and join us and uh, come join speak us. to our great Saba. Come <laughs> come build with us. Teachers of my art. Scribe, that was a great breakdown too, brother. I love it. I see what you brothers are doing too. You brothers are uh, really, <laughs> really, really making it hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey man, teachers of my heart making it hard for brothers out there. Pretty soon is you're not gonna be able to exist. Wait, hold on, this isn't real. What is this? This is fake. This is hold on, this this ain't the real thing. Hold on, what's that? What's the little light skinned brother name? It's the scribe? Oh yeah, nah, nah, he's not scribe no more. He got a new name. What's the brother's name? Yeah, nah, the brother that he showed a metal netter and the the, the the definitions, the real stuff, not that. Not that good rap. Not, uh, he rapped too. Yeah, he. Oh, he rapped too. Yeah, he spit. Nah, he ain't no good rapper. Nah, listen, he spit, man. He was, he spit the whole lesson. The, the, the whole class, <laughs> scribe spit the whole class. Hey, y'all got to join us for that Monday Metal Nutter class. Oh, you, you want you want to talk about that, Saba? Your class? Yeah. Let me. Well, how interesting. Before I clicked on this class, before I clicked on tonight. I was going over my my old. I was having a conversation with myself and some others that that um, that can't be seen. But I was having a conversation, um, having an interactive conversation, explaining um, my lyricism. And I said, and I was telling them the reason why I am um, a type of lyricist that I am is because my my lyrics are classes that's what i was saying to them i was saying my lyrics are classes and um and then i came onto the show and then scribe was, was rhyming and then he did and then in his class he's explaining his lyrics and that's what i was actually doing before i clicked onto the show earlier earlier about two hours before i was talking to um to other aspects of my consciousness and explaining things. And that was one of the things I was uh, going over and uh, then scribes here doing it. <laughs> How great is that? Yes, That's awesome. Y'all see the magic. Y'all see the magic. Yeah. That, yeah everybody that... see. <laughs> yes, y'all definitely stick on here. And uh, whoever wants to jump on, this is a very special occasion for me. Um, it's my first time. Um, coming on, I've I've typed in the room, but uh, as far as coming onto the panel, this is the very first um, February 26, 7:30. First time I'm on this uh, channel, not the last time. Oh tap, oh tap, man, cool. Yay! Oh tap, salute, salute, salute to the netters. Peace to the par e e up here. Nuk Punuk, it's a pleasure to see you brothers like always. Amazing, amazing episode tonight. Very powerful. I'm very proud of you brothers. It's uh, an honor and I hope to be able to continue to serve uh, and love you brothers as you uh, help change the world. Very powerful what you all are doing. Uh, what a great, great, great night. To our... Uh, to are my brother. This is, Hotel. Great. this is beautiful. You brothers are really, really um 
you brothers are making this uh this dream that i kept to my private self really um really manifest i'm really pleased i uh i feel like taking a trip to china and saving the, the missing brother <laughs> I think I'm gonna get that him. might not be a great idea I'm gonna, travel, I'm gonna travel to china and see if i can rescue somebody i don't know what, what happened to his brain or what happened but um you all are very special more special people are joining we got the brother Siddiqui. he's 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 merging in he's merging in with the, the he's merging right in I don't, he's popped up out of nowhere but he said he was always there watching for all the videos but there he is and he's going to be up there just like you all and it's going to be soon the screen soon there'll be people waiting in line to get in the panel the team will yes. be cool. it'll be a, it'll be a 20 people will be on the um on the team as motivated as you four and five because we got Siddiqui so thank you all this is a beautiful thing you're making you're all making um you are making what i um wanted to do with the netter um manifest in physical form so beautiful thank you thank you all for doing your part yeah, okay. yes. we, well, definitely, we definitely appreciate you too Shava. Because, yeah, I mean, if it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for you, none of this would be going on. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It's, it's it's definitely. It's definitely. 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 That's a fact, brother. Thank you for being the example of uh, how men should behave and how we should speak and setting the example. You guys see this excellence. Y'all see the rat in Rome. Y'all see it in real time out here. Hey, y'all going to stop playing with us, too, because <laughs> y'all see it. We are unwinding and unlearning and getting out of this matrix. And it's happening right before your eyes in real time, brick by brick. I know y'all see it. It's manifesting <laughs> right now. Y'all see young scribe up there putting it down, and he's putting a oh. lot of people. He, he making Man. a lot of people look. <laughs> he's he separating. Scribe, scribe is unfolding a beautiful message. That's a I'm fact. Cool. About, like, I got so many notes right here. You know, I be trying to keep <laughs> up with the notes and keep up with the moderator, you know. But it's just crazy how the terms, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you get to going to the root of the terms, and it gives a whole total definition, you be like that, and it just fits in place like a missing piece to a puzzle. That's it, all fact, go, brother. it all go back it all goes back to Kim it all goes back to Kim hey Siddiqui yeah yeah peace brother how how long how long have you been um awakened just seeking knowledge of self just from your very beginning where you said you know what I'm gonna start searching into the knowledge how many decades years first, ago was that the first time I ever came in contact with like anything that's dealing with consciousness right i was in the youth center and there was a chaplain in there named chaplain elmore and chaplain elmore was a hebrew israelite and so chaplain elmore used to you know he used to have this big uh I forgot what he used to call it but i know like it was just all in in hebrew it was like the the hebrew text that mm -hmm. he used to speak from so that was my like that was the first time like I came into contact with, with, with a teacher that told me anything about the knowledge of self, the history of black people before that. The only people I probably can name for you was Martin Luther King, uh, Rosa Parks, uh, George Washington. Harvey. How long ago? How I'm, try, I'm trying to get the date. How long ago? Oh, did you I was, during this time, I was like 13. How long ago was that? This was in uh like you know, 90 or 2000. So 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 20 24 years? 999 and it's 2023. That's 24 years ago. Okay. 
So I want to. I want to. Ninety eight, and I met Chaplin Elmore. Yeah, ninety nine. I want to. I want to. I want to point out something right here. Right. Now, 20, 25, 24 years, you've been studying, searching, and you've also studied under Bobby Hammett. All everybody, you all you. Yeah, I don't, I don't want, it ain't, it ain't, you can't name too pe pe many people that's like out there in the open. You know what I'm saying? Not nobody that's secluded. You know that do teachings on you know in the house or in the basement or something. Like any teacher that was available, yes. you know, as far as book wise or whatever, you, you studied. Know, I tried. I studied. Now, now the question is: of all those people right now, how many of them are you still studying under? I mean, it ain't like no actual person I studied up on. It's like books I have read. Now, one of my favorite that I like, well, I got a couple favorite. You know, what I how like many, uh, how many of their YouTube videos are you watching? In the, in the last two weeks. Well, all those people, Bobby Hammond, Phil Valentine, Ashar Quaid. Uh, uh, see, Bobby Hammond and, and Phil Valentine, now, nah, no disrespect to them, uh, and, and, and they teach, you know, what they teach. It's like, I, I really, I never really gravitated towards their type of teacher. You okay. know, I was always into like, people like Amos Wilson, okay. uh, Dr. Laila Africa, Okay. You know, I, I just like people that was really serious about uplifting, you know what I'm saying, black people. How many of their video how many of their videos have you been taking notes from in the last two weeks? Who, whose videos you've been watching in the last two weeks that you're there with a pen and pad taking notes from? Oh, I mean you already know who I've been watching. I told you I've been who, who is that? Who's that person? What's his name? Yes. <laughs> Here, here's my here's my point. Here's my point. You're now taking notes and impressed from somebody who was three years old when you were on your when you were going on your path. It was a little three year old baby just coming out of diapers. He was in. He was just coming out of diapers. Just coming out of breastfeeding. He was three three years old. Just coming off eating Gerber, and you were already studying. And here we are 24 years later, and you're taking notes from him. He's above you. He's called Scribe. Right. And he's a student of the Tootsie Paw class. That I just want everybody in YouTube to know that, to know how advanced this is in order for somebody who is three years old, while somebody else who is their elder. Siddiqui is 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 scribes elder in every way in knowledge. So he's 23, 24 years ahead of scribe in studies, ahead of he's ahead of scribe in age. And here it is that when true knowledge comes, that little baby who was three years old is now the teacher of the person who was studying for 24 years. And that person is no longer watching the people that he was studying. 24 years ago, the little three-year-old surpassed the people. So now here is Siddiqui here watching Scribe, but no longer taking notes from the, those people who are probably 60 years old right now. And that's because this is actually the truth, where a little young three-year-old could surpass all the other teachers on YouTube. Who on YouTube right now is teaching equal to Scribe? He was three years old. He, he wasn't even born. He wasn't born when the teachers on YouTube were, when Bobby Hammett and all them were teaching way you back know, in the in the late 80s, Scribe wasn't even born yet. And here he is now. You know what's funny though, teacher. right? <laughs> you know what's funny? Cool. The uh, Friday, you have posted a brother up there. You know, he had bald head. I can't pronounce his name, right? But he got a channel on YouTube. And he supposed to teach uh comedic signs, and you were showing the exchange that y'all had. I don't know if it was on f Facebook or whatever. It was, it was just this that Friday. Last <clears throat> yeah, just this Friday. It about was the ma'a, the class about the ma'a. Oh, oh, Afro Kano, Afro Kite news. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. it's crazy that you posted him up because I had just <laughs> ran across him. 
And you know, he's he seemed like this real militant brother, like standing on top of, you know, with his teachers or whatever. Yeah, and yeah. so he yeah. had a uh he had a a course. He said it, the course was called Hebrews Didn't Exist. And so yeah. it was it was ten dollars. So I was like, you know, I I grabbed it, right? <laughs> My man, so I, I I thought it was gonna be like an ebook or something, because I didn't have no, it didn't, it wasn't no link that I I, I can press on and nothing like that to get. So I was asked like, what was the book at? So I reached out to him, I get no response. So I reached out through through my, my my queen, and he sent me a video from off of YouTube. So I was like, well. Well, had I have known that you was going to send me the same video off of YouTube that I could have just wanted to click on, <laughs> I would have just did that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to send me a video from off YouTube. I was like, That's good. then you showed him Friday. I was like, wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm here to, um, I'm here on a mission to look for my lost peers. And in doing that, I seem to be erasing everybody, but I'm actually here to look for the rest of the netters that are supposed to be here teaching. I told my, my goddess, um, last night, if you actually watch the introduction with me and Jabari debating, and I did the snake style on him that trapped him. The son editor said, I hit him with the uppercut and, and gave him, oh, yeah. Put him in that yeah. trick bag. say what I said, you put him in a trick bag. Yes, when I did that, he watched that section closely. He tried to reverse that. He tried to make it seem that I was not answering a question. And he kept asking, and I kept saying no. He kept and asking, I would say no. And then I went like this. He said, brother, answer my question. And I went in the screen. I said, no, when I moved my mouth like that. And he said, OK. And he went like this. If you actually if you actually understand what happened i don't know if you're into battle rap or, or into um setups and punch lines but yeah. if you're I'll into watch. that if you understand that there's a setup then there's a punch line and that's a, like the snake style so what i do is i do it i can do a quick setup and a knockout punch line but when you're trying to do it on the spot like when you're freestyling and you don't have the end you have nothing to say to for the reason why you asked the question. So when you ask me the question and I answer it, he turned to the side because he realized he had nothing to actually say to end it off. He had nothing to say. Watch that section very, very closely. So I'm and I told my goddess, I said, what this feels like to me, this earth feels like to me is you're stranded on an island for 20 years. You think nobody's on it. And then all of a sudden you see scribe and then you see Arcad. And you run up to them and you're happy because you see other people. And you're like, Scribe Arcad, you all have been on this island too? Let's get out of here. And then they look at you and they say, hee, 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 hee. And they're talking like the monkeys and then you're disappointed again. All you're doing is you're looking for people on this island that are actually your peers. And that actually turned into this, um, into the mission. That's all I've been doing. I just am here saying there's no way the world could be in this chaos with all this nonsense, there has to be others here teaching. So I end up coming in contact with the others and then I end up erasing them because I end up exposing their, that they're, um, they're false. I'm looking for everybody. I'm going through all the Adwifru. I'm going through all the Rana from Moon and I'm going through all the Jabari, all the guys. I'm just looking for a, a, a brother that came and ascended at the same time I did or a sister. Um, and it seems like, um, in that I'm exposing when you all see that you're like, oh, Tahuti's the Saba. I never even came here saying that I was, uh, I was that I just, I just started teaching and, and then end up exposing people just because I'm having trying to have a conversation. And that's what turned into this. I'm very, very pleased that you all, some people have found me in debates with, with these people and I'm really there trying to be nice. If you watch me in all of my debates with, with Zion and everybody in the beginning, I'm actually pleading for a brother. I'm, I'm looking for brotherhood. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not trying to crush these people. 
I'm, I'm trying to see, oh, oh, there's another, oh, this man's been a scribe for, for a priest for 30 years. His name is Jabari. Oh, finally, 30 years. We must be able to talk. Let's talk. And then, and then he ends up getting crushed because his ego is too big. I'm just looking for a fellow brother. I can't seem to find any. Um, and in doing that, I ended up becoming the Saba here. That's all that really happened. So I'm glad you all um, have realized that. I was just here taking notes from my own personal self, looking for a fellow brother. And um, it turned into all of this. And then I realized, oh, there's thousands of people that don't have any fellow people like me. I thought maybe there was others like me, but it appears not. So I'm here to do this job until um, until I find my, my other fellow uh, brothers and then I can... Um, do it as a group or step back but until then i'll just continue to be the sabbath so i thank you all for appreciating that um and i'm really really seeing that i'm in a world of monkeys i did not know this but i'm really really seeing that i i was on two youtube channels before this class some of your favorites and i'm watching them and i'm like oh they're arguing over a retainer sacrifice for and i counted the art the hours 22 hours but when but whoever wins this argument None of them are going to do the retainer sacrifice. None of them are going to do any ritual. None of them are going to, but they're talking for 22 hours. I was like, oh, nobody actually wants the knowledge. Let me come back to, uh, let me, I'm looking forward to this. And then when I saw Scribe teach, I was so happy. I was like, he's the, Scribe is the best, um, the, the best comedic teacher on the, um, on comedic teacher on the internet. So is Ahati. So is, so is Arkad. And and um, these are the best comedic teachers on the internet. Yeah, see, that, I can't put my I can't put myself in it because because um, I I actually put myself in a position to be a saba, which is whatever you ask me, I'll be the best at that. Ask me about UFOs, I'll be the best at that. But as far as comedic teachers, the, the, they're they're uh, to they're be here. honest, to to be I don't I don't mean to cut you off. To be honest. That's not my mission to teach. So I would say the best comedic teacher besides you is Scribe. Um, my mission is to create that mansion, create that town, and leave something for your children's children. Uh, that's always been my ambition. So I just want to state that to everybody out there. I do this because of my love for Saba and to my brothers on the panel and the sisters out there that are members. Uh, I really don't have an ambition to, Saba knows, I used to stand up in front of his goddesses and I really didn't want to do it, but I did it because I wanted this life. So I was willing to do whatever it takes. Uh, but yes, um, I feel you. When you used to say these guys are monkeys, I used to say, why is he calling brothers and sisters monkeys? When I first met you, why is he calling them monkeys? And then like now, when I go out now, I am thoroughly disgusted. I, I absolutely understand when we used to be out there together and you would try to run to get away from people trying to talk to you. I didn't understand why you're doing it back then. I understand now. It is like learning from you is you see this world. It's just decrepit, decaying. You smell, at least where I'm at, you smell poop all over the streets, pee all over the streets. It, it's just it's just crazy. Thank you. I'm, I'm very thankful for him because as you can see, like, I got books like this called my eye and <laughs> you look inside this book you, you don't you, you don't see anything that's dealing with my eye in this book no no nothing mm. nothing then you know I, I i went into these these volumes nothing nothing so it was like the comedic thing it was just like a a dead end it was more like you see people dressed up in, 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 in the attire you know what i'm saying and they might you know grand rise and, and might use certain <laughs> phrases and stuff like that but to actually get in the teaching part it, it, it's a it's like you know the phone it's like dropping the phone call the phone call drop <laughs> you know you disconnect you know it's not like it. It's not a lot of people that that can that can actually you know that that can teach you know matter nothing and you know that's why I, I, I commend scribe i commend brother hardy i commend the brother arcad you know 
especially Saba. Like I said, you can't, you know, men cool, mm -hmm. you know. And then it's another, like another thing on here is like, it's, you don't see no ego. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like it's a beautiful thing to see other brothers congratulating other brothers, like, you know, giving them a hand clap you know what i'm saying <laughs> no ego problem you know what i'm saying people know their places and and, and they stay in their lane and they work with whatever their job is they they they, they play their role and that's what i am i'm a role player whatever whatever my role is whatever you expect out of me that's what you're gonna get mm -hmm. It's yes. definitely uh go ahead scribe brother go yeah, ahead wanna, good brother i want to just say um yeah this is um absolutely beautiful i can tell you that prior to the pod class you know i was just in the shadows um just just watching and observing and and waiting i didn't know what i was waiting on or what i was waiting for but i was just there um, in the shadows and when Tahuti brought the pod class to us it helped me on so many levels um, and even just beginning just to even come up here on camera um, in front of you know whoever watches you know prior to that you know I, I was uh, you wouldn't find me you know <laughs> so um, Saba Tahuti and what he has brought forth um, has has helped me in so many ways. And I'm a I'm a student, you know, just like everyone here, you know, just like all of you in the chat. You know, I am a student and I am teaching as I am learning because I understand the importance that, that this is necessary and this needs to be put out. This needs to be taught, you know, the the isfet and all the lies and all the conjecture and all the, just the opinions and making things up and all that needs to be superseded by the facts and by the truth and so that's why you see me up here now doing what i'm doing i mean i'm i'm a student you know so um and i would i would not be able to to do this at all without Saba Tahuti and, and being able to just observe and watch him. And if he wasn't who he is and and living exactly what you see and what he teaches, um, it wouldn't have done what it did for me because that is outside of even just the teachings. In real life, you see people consistently just contradicting themselves and, and living double lives and triple lives and I've always seen that and noticed that and being able to um, recognize supreme discipline at the highest level is such a motivation for me even before you even get to the teachings. So Saba Tahuti is, is exactly who he is and I always will, whenever anyone sees me, they will always see Saba Tahuti. Um, and they will hear that tone. And um, it is an honor, it is an honor to learn up under you and to have been able to, to meet you in the physical and to now be building with the brothers a legacy for, you know, in your name. So with that, you know, I, I don't, there's only so much that, you know, I can, um, I can say and do but it all you know i always give complete adoration to you you know and and thanks you know even prior before getting to the actual teachings the teachings are even even if you wasn't teaching in in the way that you are um for just being who you are and being a representation of ma'at and living out the truth is i'm so thankful for you sabatuti so just Tua, and uh, thank you for coming up on the panel. Uh, thank you for being here and letting your presence be known and your tones be heard. And uh, we are all so grateful for you. And uh, yes, I, I just, I, I, I hope to do, uh, to be, to make you proud. 
I, I just hope to do that. And um, so, yes, Saba Tahuti is who he is. He is the truth. Uh, don't and there's no need to um, really. <laughs> I'm glad that you're going through and you're and you're attempting to to find your peers and and and, <laughs> and revealing the reality and the truth and the and the ma'at behind it, um, and it just really uh, places you in a completely different category. So you you're your own category. I mean, there, this the category is Tahuti. <laughs> That's the category. So yes, yeah, Saba. <laughs> thank you, so my just, bro. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Beautiful words. Appreciate that. Um, hey, hey, there's someone in the room um, named Maheru who said, I saw it the other day when I was trying to search into Sphinx in my ba. I met the family. Is that, uh, is that Misha? Is that um, Big Ed Leisure? I've never seen that name before, so I'm not sure. I think it's Big Ed. Okay, but shout out to Big Ed Leisure if that's you. Shout out to whoever that is. Um, who saw whatever they saw when they were trying to search into this thing. Yeah, Misha, that's a Misha. Uh, Pete Hotep, my good brother. That's okay, a great peace. brother. Thank, thank you. Okay, good. He changed his name. So everybody from now on, when you see Maharu, that's, um, that was Misha in the uh, in the past. So it's Maharu now. Shout out to you, good brother. Um, Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. Um, this has been beautiful. Very, very beautiful. I'm going to let you all get on. Uh, it it was you, Saba, I saw. Oh. Oh, you saw. Oh, that's interesting. And my goddess just sent me a message, said that she saw this, this in a, in a dream already. What we're doing right now, this was already in her dream. So there's a lot of um, magical things that are happening on levels we can't see. And... Um, this, this whole synchronicity of me putting my rhymes to uh, going over um, speaking with parts of my consciousness in a, in a um, I created a, an environment and I was having a conversation talking about my lyrics and how I teach and then scribe is doing it when I come on and then my God is seeing this in a dream and then Meshach this is all there's something very dynamic happening and I'm very happy that this is taking place because we're this that we're doing is actually happening on multi levels, it's not just happening in the physical realm that we can see, but there's uh, multi worlds that there's levels that this is happening with with other um, with other ends to um, to this this echoing out of this physical world and it's um, beautiful. I love it. That's what I want. I thank you all for having me on. Appreciate uh, appreciate you. There's another person here, Shesh Shaya. Is that another new is that a new another new name? I don't know. Shasha, but that's, she's that's Angie that? Martinez. Oh well, look at this. <laughs> huh? Look mm. at this. Angie Martinez to Sheshaya. Look at look at worlds changing in front of us, huh? Angie Martinez to Sheshaya. Shout out shout out to you, Sheshaya. What a beautiful um what a beautiful name. Beautiful, beautiful name. Thank you. Uh, appreciate you all. I'm gonna let you all get back to what you were. Um, what's happening? Did somebody else just come on the stream? Arcad. Oh, Arcad. Yeah, I'm I, I've been having technical difficulties. The Matrix. Crazy. Um, but I'm gonna let you all get back to what you were doing. Um, I'll be listening in the background. Peace and love. Anki and Maat. Un Ms. Nintendo Set and Maya. Mina Bapet and Mayat, her and Hukiwi, per Ikut. I live for Mayat, I exist within her, I do not speak in the place of Mayat. Every day I advance towards Mayat. By being surrounded in darkness, I come forth as conscious light. That is the affirmation that I say in the morning, and I include all of you are, are included with my goddesses when we say it, and they have certain tributes to some of you at different times in the very morning. So I shout out to you. Peace and love. You all are making... Um, making me exist because um, I was just alone teaching um, and teaching my goddesses and they made me exist because if a teacher has no students, then he just exists amongst himself. And I was very happy with that, um, but I'm even happier now. It was just me and the animals 
and now there's actual people that want to um that want to learn uh, i thought it was just the animals so peace and love <laughs> to all of you and um i'm gonna step out in a moment if anybody wants to say any last thing before i step out that's wonderful but i'm gonna step out in a couple of minutes maybe three minutes I know Nanny I said Mer, she told me to throw on a beat for you. <laughs> <laughs> she said throw on a beat. If I if I did that, it would uh it would be a delay. I can tell you it would uh I wouldn't do solid like it. We'll have to set it up properly. We're, yeah. we're definitely yeah. I heard he get busy, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never heard him spit. Oh man, really? <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness. Listen. Oh there's nothing oh, in here. Hey, man, not missing listen. any if you appreciate bars, then let me just say this. When I first when I first saw him about to uh drop a track with uh, a, a very well known rapper that I actually used to like a whole lot. And uh man, listen, it was I was like, wait, hold on now, this is and I and the thing about it, Siddiqui, is it was about what was going on. Like it was it was about it was about the show. And, and what was what was actually taking place? Man, you got to go back and watch some of those old classes because it was magical. Shout out to you, Sab. I just want to thank you for uh, just being the example um, for us and being the example and representing my art and um, <clears throat> yeah. showing us how to be real leaders and showing us how to be real teachers. Because um, unlike you, I can't stomach uh, the other stuff no more and. Um, I'm really surprised I was actually able, well, it doesn't surprise me now, but being able to eat the fish and spit out the bone and, and find the real amongst the fake. Um, but uh, I understand now it actually wasn't very difficult at all. Once, um, once I experienced and I, and I got a, uh, 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 an example of, of, of what was real versus of my art versus everything else. Once I, once I understood that, it was it was no, I it was <laughs> it was no comparison, and it, it's no comparison now. And uh, just a shout out to everybody out there, Sab. I was in a uh, survival mode, man. My whole life, I feel like I I was in survival mode, just searching for the truth, and uh, just just doing what I needed to do to take care of my family and survive and do all of these things. So it's, I know I'm supposed to send you my name. I know I'm. My my, <laughs> y'all! Shout actually, out to everybody, huh? Can y'all hear me? To, you you say you're supposed to send the attributes send, for your name, right? Yeah, my attributes and 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 it's it's the matrix. The matrix, everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna be the matrix. Have had me so confused, right? That mm -hmm. I had no aspirations but to survive. That's my whole life was just survival. Take care of my family. Survive. I'm the listening. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna come off the screen and mute. But I'm. I'm in the background listening. I just have to take care of some. I'm listening to you though. Yeah, it's no. You know, is 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 the Matrix kill your dreams, man? It it kills. It it destroys your way of thinking and your whole your all your aspirations. So um yeah, I just wanted to survive. I just wanted to take care of my family and learn and and just be better. And you know, it was baby steps that I'm taking. So. I'm appreciative of you, of being able to find the truth and be able to be pointed in the right direction. Cause now, like you, uh, Siddiqui, I know which books to get. As a matter of fact, I don't. What what book? Which one was uh was he reading out of hot? You gotta let me know what volume that was, cause I was trying to read along. But our ancestors left everything for us everything that we need they left our culture behind we don't have to walk around blind no more we can be proud of the fact that we are netters and be proud of our culture and who we are for real and that knowledge itself is invaluable and being able to find a real teacher and being able to um, you know recognize the truth and stand next to you brothers and and to watch your growth scribe as you are uh, manifest in real time brother and mm -hmm. and and show us and lead by example um you know i'm 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 appreciative of you definitely appreciative of ahati for motivating saba and pushing him out to do whatever it is whatever it is that you told him um i'm appreciative of you brothers and yeah i just want to say uh shout out to the best teacher on the internet man it's 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 
Saba, Tahuti, Amenhotep, Ra. It's no comparison. It is no comparison. And a shout out to Young Scribe. Scribe, that was a beautiful, excellent, excellent teaching today. As yeah. always, I have to go back and digest. And, um, you know, it's, a, it's, 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 man, it's, it's a work of art, man. Saba, what you're, the Natiru that you have been summoning <laughs> is magical and it's beautiful. Um, because I'm a warrior natter. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> If you, if you stay ready, you don't got to get ready. I don't know what yeah. attribute is that. Because, man, I was out there hustling in reverse. I really was, man. Like so many of our people, you know, we have this passion and this energy. And I can't even sing you. I didn't even have eight attributes to sing you that I wanted to be because I was in survival mode. It's how the Matrix have us so twisted, right? Mm. Where all we want to do is survive and, and just take care of our family, uh, I, I don't I don't want to be this. I don't want to be. I just want to live. I just want to take care of my family. You know, I just want the truth. That's it. I just want to be a defender of my art. And now that I know the truth, that is what <laughs> those are my attributes. Uh, a defender of my art. <laughs> right. Now that I know the truth, that's what that segment behind me represents. I am a defender of the truth. And it's sad that our people don't respect you and don't respect the truth because um, we got a long way to go, but uh, in reality, we halfway there because of you brothers up here on the panel and because we have the best teacher. So I'm not going to be long winded. I'm going to let you brothers speak and close it out. We've been up here for three hours. Shout out to the best teacher on the Internet. Saba Tahuti Amenhotep Ra. Shout out to the Netters. Um, shout out to you, Jabari, the, the Natiru are real. Uh, yeah, and <laughs> we'll end it with that. I'm gonna let you brothers uh close it out with uh with our great Saba. Peace and love, Saba. Thank you, my brothers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Arcad. Um, so Arcad, now now did you did you up to this point ever send the attributes or now you're now you're ready? Now that now you've went through that transformation, now you're now you're ready to send. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna send something. I'm gonna send something <laughs> now. <laughs> okay, it's a good. process. I it's thought a process, I thought Saba. I thought I, mi I thought actually I missed it. I thought you had um, I thought I was wondering what happened. I said I know he had to send. Maybe I didn't get the email, or maybe I went to spam or something. But um, okay, thank you for telling me that. Now I know the matrix process brother. that you went through. Okay, thank you. The Mr. matrix. You're coming up what date again? The April, what is it described? April 15th, right? Yeah, April okay. 15th. No, no, not April 15th. That's when, that's when. Well, um, well that so, Sunday, the weekend of that Sunday. So it'll probably be the 17th. I think 15th is the Fridays, but we'll be there 15th or 16th and 17th is Sunday. Beautiful. Okay, so good, good. Good, look forward to all of that. Um, peace and love, brothers. Thank you, you guys continue on um with whatever you're doing in the class i don't know if you're about to end the class right now or uh, or not but um if you're going to end the class i'll end it with you but if you're going to keep if, if you want to push on for however long you all usually go go ahead and, and um do that i, I gotta get going so okay I mean, so we're gonna end it okay sounds sounds wonderful so you want you want to say something me yeah, you were because we usually close out together. Oh yes, well, yes, be definitely. Right, be right before we close out, I do want to um, show the support that we received uh, oh, okay. for the class. So I'll show the support, and then we can close out. All right, let me get my screen share ready. All right, um, let's see, you got the sounds good, brother, Arcad. All right, we got this earlier in the week from the great sister, Bev Thompson, 1201. I would love to know the reason behind your 1201, Miss <laughs> Bev. Thank you for that. Uh, sent with love. So thank you. Thank you, Bev. Miss Cannabis Spa. For those of you who are in her vicinity, make sure you um, support her business. Uh, 
and then next we have the most consistent um, supporter on YouTube <laughs> on YouTube itself the most consistent supporter the great brother Nito Campbell <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, good brother Nito Campbell, for your, your your support every single week for Saba Tahuti and for the teachings of my aunts. We are so thankful for you. So thank you for that, good brother. All right, next we have a brother sitting on the panel right under the great brother Hati Ma'at. Minku Ara. <laughs> Mary Ma'at sends 11 11, which goes perfectly in line with the teaching today of the dual duality. Mm -hmm. So, thank you for that. Two are for the great energy brothers. All of you brothers are one in a billion. So, uh, I love you and I appreciate you. Thank you for all that you're doing. Oh, yes, we, we love you too, my brother. Two are for what you're doing as well. Thank you. And then let's see, we have two more. Let's see, we have uh, another great brother on the panel. Mr. Show Up and, and Show Out, the great warrior brother, Siddiqui. He sends $30. He says, scribe, another beautiful presentation. Salutations to the teachings of my art movement and peace and blessings to the great Saba Tahuti for being instrumental in transforming the minds of good men. Hail to you, Saba. Yes, in the bomb. Yeah, he does. <laughs> definitely. Great warrior, brother. Shout out to you, Siddiqui. Just wanted to show my appreciation to you brothers, man. I learned a lot from y'all. Appreciate y'all. Sir Nini Uk. And last but not least, we have Stephen Escalar, who sends 2572 for support of TOM Hotel. Yes, shout out to you, good brother. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen Escalar. I think this may be the uh, the Life first time we've seen you. Uh, I think this may be the first time we've seen you support uh, the TOM. So uh, thank you. We'll add you to the newsletter of the supporters uh, because we always love to show and give our adoration to those who support us. So thank you. And you'll be in the newsletter for next week. So two out to you, my brother. All right. That's all the support. So thank you, everyone who supported uh, those who are in the class, those who are giving great energy in the chat room adoration to everyone so peace and love hotel my aunt and uh i'll go ahead and, and close out and give some closing words and then we'll go down the panel so yes um this was this this class will be available on the teachings of my org website and um it's um and i hope that i that i was able to illuminate some some new information for you all for you to take with you and enhance uh some some of your um your daily routine and, and understanding that the uh, the the thought process of meditation and uh, so many times I've heard people tell me that I can't meditate because I can't stop thinking so hopefully I was able to break that spell and show you that meditate literally means to think so um, thank you all for for paying attention in the class uh, because that's what allows this to exist and so just hope to help my eye uh, may you all write down your goals for the week before you lay down and rest. And as soon as you rise with Ra, attack exactly what's on that list and make sure that you tackle it and you get it done. So two out to everybody. Uh, peace and love. Hotel my eye and have a great week. See you all next Friday in the pod class. Or maybe Hotel Monday Ma Metanetta class. Oh yeah, Monday Metanetta class, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully we'll see some of you in the Monday Metanetta class. Hopefully this Metanetra you're seeing that I'm breaking down inspires you to come into the class, get the class, because this, this is where I'm learning this. 
So <laughs> Monday Metanetra class, please come into the class and it will just completely eliminate all the, the spells and the hypnosis that the English language has us going into. So yes, would love to see new faces in the Monday Metanetra class. Thank you, Sabo. Peace and love. <laughs> Peace and love. Oh, tap. Uh, go ahead, brother. What's going on, Siddiqui? Did you uh, did you join the class yet? You muted, brother. No, I haven't been to the class yet. But I, you know, I sent the support or whatever, the donation. Okay. Nice. Asaba. Uh, Thank you for uh, coming on tonight. I really appreciate you. I appreciate your presence. And I'm glad that you're pleased with uh, your surprise. Uh, scribe. <laughs> the no Man, you know, um, again and again and again, I am... I am... Uh, something special brother he, he does a lot for me that nobody else sees and i even saba he does a lot he does a lot and and on top of that he's bringing you excellent presentations and whatever i know he's dealing with people outside there too he's doing a lot so a brother like this is very valuable and to mm -hmm. me uh he, he's worth um no amount of money Honestly, I don't see anywhere else, not even in YouTube land, but in the world, I don't see anybody <laughs> else other than Saba that uh, has this type of, of uh, presentation from retaining knowledge within his first year of being taught by the great one. And uh, I, I hope the appreciation gets reciprocated continuously and i hope brother whatever your goals are for this week that they are obtained I, I absolutely love that because that's what i do every day i have goals set that's what you need to do if we're not writing down and organizing our thoughts constantly how do we know when we achieve something how do we know when we are growing so uh that's what the brother saba tahuti taught me was that the first thing that has to be structured is our mind once the mind structured then we can build our own structure and stop just talking That's and right. we're doing that we're doing that and and scribe is doing that it's just I, i'm great i i um scribe i've told scribe this but i i've been looking for a scribe and i was thinking the other day the 20 some year olds that are doing great work not just a scribe great work i'm looking for the 40 and above club to step it up. The 20, if it wasn't, and this is a dream come true, because if it wasn't for the 20 year olds, they're going to be attracting the youth into this movement. And and uh, this has to be the materials plan. It has to be. And uh, Scribe, you were a great part of it. And uh, Scribe started this Discord community, which, and the great thing about this brother is, I don't have to tell him anything. And a lot of times when my ideas are coming, spurting through the day and I hit him up, I say, scribe, let's get this done. Let's do this. He's already thinking about that. He's doing it. That is such a pleasure. You imagine you had somebody in your life like that doing stuff like that for you. Is Jabari and all those people getting that? If you are, come on. I, I want to hear. I want to. Uh, is, is any other brothers getting this type of treatment? I take this very seriously and uh, I don't, um, I don't want any of the people up on the panel under underappreciated anymore. So this is life changing work we're doing um, and and it has to continue and it continues with your support. It continues with Saba gracing us with his beautiful presence and it continues with the teachings of Ma'at. We are here and we're moving forward and nothing is going to stop us. Peace. Peace and love, Siddiqui. You got some words you want to close out with briefly before we close out? You know, once again, I thank Scribe for a beautiful illustration. Thank, you know, the Saba for stopping through. You know, always appreciate Brother Ahadi's words, as well as yours too. 
Man, cool. Peace and love to you. Peace and love, time. Just peace and love to everybody. We leave with that. Oh, tap, man, cool. Uh, at the last Meta Netter class, Saba Tahuti taught that we are the netters and about the consciousness of the netters. It wasn't about uh, the landmass of Komet. It was <laughs> the consciousness of the netters that created Komet. And his teaching is so powerful. And so imagine that was the Monday and then Friday, what he did in the pod class and then what's happening here on Sunday always is keeping us in the netter consciousness. Uh, wherever we go, we're the creators. These are the words of Saba Tahuti. And uh, this is life. This is love. This is what the world is all about. Oh, and he talked about the M and the N are the same and being in <laughs> Ma'at. Oh my God. Yo, the teachings is... I don't even I don't even have no words for it, but all I'll say is it's an honor, it's a pleasure uh to be in the netter consciousness. Scribe, you are a beast, a hati, you are a beast, <laughs> Arcad, you're a monster. Man. Uh Siddiqui, thank you for you know what you're doing, brother. And it's just going to grow and grow and grow because we're the creators. And for Saba to be able to decode, decipher, to teach with wisdom knowledge understanding consistency living the lifestyle there's there's it's heaven it's uh, it's above heaven so to all to all you brothers i appreciate you it's an honor to be in your presence and i hope to serve you in a way that is impactful and of substance it's respect to us thank you love bro to our beautiful class saba you got some final words before we close it out Yes, peace and love, Mahat Hotep, to everyone. I'm proud of every brother on this panel. Proud of everyone. And I uh, thank you all for for finding importance in the uh, way and what it is that I teach. I appreciate everyone for that. And because of your questions that you send in, because of what you do, you help create the content for people hundreds of years from now or however long YouTube exists to watch five-year-olds, 12-year-olds that will be born 40 years from now, 80 years from now when we're long and gone, five-year-olds, 12-year-olds, 50 years from now, we'll be able to click onto the Tutti Paw class, click onto this, and the Metanetter classes will be these legendary mystical classes that people will ask where's the marionetta class what channel is that oh i got it i got it pass it to me how much is that it's gonna be like the, the underground dvds <laughs> it's gonna, pass it to me Wait, it's, it's not is it on an app is it is it is it on twitch is it on, no 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 it was just for the people that came it's going to be a mystical thing 40 years from now when we're when i'm not doing this anymore when we're all long gone 60 years from now this will be a mythological experience and story but it will be trapped in time and it will continue on from the children's children that will be retelling this um, story because beautiful internet and beautiful technology traps reality and time it makes it timeless so thank you all for helping making this timeless when scribe is, has a, a gray beard scribe has a big gray beard and he's 82 years old i remember when i was 27 and yeah yeah Hey, and and everybody's like, this will be a mythological story, just like the Netters became mythological stories to the people in the future, and now today people are teaching the Netters weren't real; it was just myth or principles. Is what will be said about us, except for you'll be able to press play on YouTube to prove it all happened. So, thank you all for the proof, <laughs> and I will leave off with that, Maad Hotep. Ma'at Hotep, peace and love, everyone. Thank you for joining us for another beautiful, beautiful, beautiful show. Scribe, that was excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, my good brother, you breaking the internet. And um, 
I, just, I hate to say it, but uh, it's not just you, Cyber, that's going to have them out there scared because uh, <laughs> if, if, if that's what's not enough meat on the bone, <laughs> then I so hate it for young scribe, man, because listen, oh my goodness, man, we love it. We love the truth, man. Shout out to everybody out there that love and appreciate the truth. Unky and my aunt, with that, we are going to end as we always do with our beautiful affirmation. From the teachings today, from last week's utterances, we are mighty against Isfet, from the Per M Heru, page 135. And from today's teachings, from the good brother scribe, <clears throat> remember prayer is planting the seed. Creation is made up of sound vibration. Before receiving the fruits, sound vibration must be given. Remember the same word for prayer, is that which gives birth and sustains life. And that is the Shet. With that, we're going to end with our beautiful affirmation on the count of three. One, two, three. Unki mm -hmm. and Ma'at. Mm -hmm. Un N S. Nintet mm -hmm. Oset and Ma'at. Men Hepapet and Ma'at. Her and Hugh Kiwi. Her E Coot. I live for my aunt. I exist within her. I do not speak in the place of my aunt. Every day I advance towards my aunt. My being is surrounded in darkness. I come forth as conscious light. Peace and love, Hotep my aunt. Peace. Then I woke up back in my bed I could see my room as clear as looking through a lens See, I thought I was awake, so then I tried to move But my body shocked me like I was plugging a socket I started panicking and scrambling within my mental I thought I died and now my body, I'm forever locked in I was screaming, help me, help me, someone help me, please But there wasn't any sound making it through my teeth I could see movement and motion shadows gather around me How could I close my eyes? My eyes already closed Eating alkaline at this time, fast and so shocking. I was stuck in a paralysis, free had me froze. It's time to shed. It's time to shed. I heard a voice in the back of my head. Rebirth, it's time to shed. It's time to shed. It's time to shed. I heard a voice in the back of my head. Rebirth. Time to share. I finally started waking up and coming back. I was in the opposite of state's effect. That's relaxed. I grabbed my phone and started to do research. Knowledge of what happened, I was in a lack. Insidious, the movie came direct to mind. Every time I seen this, it was connected to what's not divine. Demons crawling forcefully, holding the body down. Ain't no point in trying to scream, you will not make a sound. Deep within, I knew I made that a reality. The all is mine, I saw it and so shall it be I start replacing fear with knowing universe is mental Talking to my subconscious to wake me up in dreams Then one day my spirit guys came in so essential Daylight astral playing loud in my dream helps to set me free I'm back in paralysis laying on my couch But this time I was calm ready to exit out It's time to shed It's time to shed I heard a voice in the back of my head Rebirth, it's time to shed It's time to shed It's time to shed I heard a voice in the back of my head Rebirth, it's time to shed From what I read, I need to move my arms in front of me See a rope and pull it, separate and then release Now I'm out, I see my house is gleaming, I accept it Looking in the mirror, staring at my God's reflection I was so ecstatic, flying in every direction This was months of subconscious reprogramming and redirection Place my thoughts in my body, wake up, that's what I did I was reborn from that day so I could start to live mm. It's time to shed It's time to shed I heard a voice in the back of my head Rebirth, it's time to shed
But I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through it, through it, through it.